All right, hello. Welcome, everyone. How's everyone doing here tonight? I do have the um, Pop Century case up first in the queue. It hasn't filled yet. If it doesn't fill tonight, uh, I'm out of town next weekend, so it'll be postponed till afterwards would be the second if it doesn't fill tonight. But if you guys would like to hop in on that, there is there is a lot of spots still remaining in it. But if it does fill tonight, totally able to do it. But we're actually going to start off with break number two tonight since that's not going to get filled anytime, you know, within, it's not going to be in like 10 minutes. So instead of starting with number one, we'll start with number two, but I won't remove the pop century from the schedule just in case it does end up getting filled tonight. But most likely it looks like it'll get postponed until the second. I know it's a little far away, but... It'd be like that sometimes. You guys know how it is. But welcome, everyone. Let's see who we got here tonight. We have NFG, Anthony, Georgie, Lucy, Bazooka Joe, Shannon, Cinefe, Tosin, Scott, Peachin, Daniel, Juan, John, uh, Rezekai as well, Michael, as I scroll up, Take Flight, Scott. Hello, everyone. If I missed any names, I apologize. I tried to read everyone that I could see. But welcome. Welcome, welcome. I did leave the queue open. Also, if you all were interested in anything besides hopping in on that Leaf Pop Sentry. But tonight we have some Commander Masters, some Star Wars, Top Scrum Platinum, Shoko Tensei, Hollow Life, Final Fantasy, Slime, Marvel. So some variety tonight. Just is opening up my box of Panini's World Cup Women's Soccer. That's cool. I don't think we got any out of that. That's cool, though. Good luck on your box. You're just preparing for the storm. Yeah, I think it should be hitting as a Category 1, which is still crazy for California. Has that ever happened before? James, welcome. Scott says, I got my cards from the Sunday stream yet today. That took a little while. I'm glad that you did finally get them, though, Scott. I swear, the mail is just slower across the board. Just in general, unfortunately. So you're out of Chrome Plot. Any chance we'll get some more? I don't think so. We got actually, I think, twice as much as we expected. It's been very popular in store as well. We went through a whole case here. We got six boxes tonight. We went through an entire case. And I think the it store went through a whole case as well. Don Prime says Cat 2 3 Landfall. Wow. I'm hoping we don't get anything here. We were very fortunate last year. Can't believe it's already been a year. We were very fortunate. I mean, not fortunate for people down south, but. It's one of those things where it's someone, someone had to get it. Very fortunate that it was not us, but that means that other people are less fortunate. But yeah, the water, the wa if anything comes this way, it's it's just we're getting wiped off the mat, the map. The gulf is like 100 degrees plus in water. I don't know how hot it is, the water is over there. But hopefully that can quell pretty quickly. Best of luck, everyone. Any news about pro debut? I looked last week, Tim, and I didn't see any pro debut for us. I haven't seen any news on pro debut this week either. Bazooka Joe says, fingers crossed, no power outage. I know. Last week was weird. This week's been weird, too, in different ways. And hopefully, hopefully nothing funky happening here tonight. Anthony says, mine always takes a week plus, but I'm far. Well, yeah. But even that, it still is like, why is it so... It's just so slow. I have things I could complain about the post office, but I don't know if that would fall into our no political discussion rules. So I'm just not going to, but. That's all I have to say. The USPS deserves better. 
welcome in everyone though but yeah so pop century is not full what's that oh, we see a new order come through let me see if it's pop century or if it is something else to grab we do have boxes of pop century as well joseph d what did joseph d get Some star wars Ooh, exciting let me add that to the queue mm -hmm. Joseph D. It looks like actually for break number three, I didn't put the two X. There we go. Hobby boxes. There we go. A little, little typo there. All right, let me refix or break number three rather. Right, I've updated the queue. Oh, that's for you, Don Prime. Very cool. Are Squishmallows still a thing? Yes, I love Squishmallows. Lucy says, my only political discussion is why does everyone want to be a puppy girl? What happened to cat girls? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But like the newest hot like Hollow Eye VTuber is like a couple of twin. They're twins. There's two for one value. They're twin like dogs. I'm like this is weird. I I I don't know. That's a good question though, Lucy. I like the discussion. That that's I wouldn't say that's political. That, that's just that is just inquiring minds want to know why people no longer want to be cat girls and instead they want to be dog girls. Let me go ahead and grab. <laughs> let me go ahead and grab that box for Don Prime. They're so large and obnoxious. They really are. Do we have MVP? We do. We do. You do have to call or email for pricing and all of that. So there's like extra, extra steps documented. But we do have MVP if you wanted to send an email. Scott says, sometimes thing, I get in things in two days. This one did seem a little long. The wise break from last weekend did end up being disappointing. Yeah, that's, you know, you know, it's that 50-50 that shot of one or two foils. I like the sets that have three, like Hollow Live. They seem a little more fun. How many breaks tonight? So far in the queue, we have nine. But it's more probably going to be eight, more likely to be eight. Like I said, I'll leave the queue open. If we don't fill the pop century, we'll just move that a couple weeks down the road. But for now, I think we should probably just go ahead and get started. So I think Georgie is here. George G. Georgie in chat. Georgie, if you are here, make some noise. The little, but they're hiding. The boxes for Georgie here are hiding behind these Star Wars, big old Star Wars boxes. All right, so if we need to circle back to the Pop Century, we will. Uh, but I'm going to keep it as number one so I don't have to, like, keep adjusting the queue every so often. And then I'll just put in the description postponed. If we don't actually get to it. Um, but yeah. That looks like that might have to get delayed. There, since there are still a good bit of spots left. But that should be fun whenever we do end up getting to it. But yes. Georgie is here. Best of luck Georgie. And also let me know. Which you would like me to start off with. Whether the set booster or the collector booster. Juan says MTG time. Jedi assassin Bo Bichette <laughs> says hello. Hey welcome. Exciting! This will be my first time opening up a set booster box of Commander Masters. And then I've opened up a few collector boosters. There's a lot of different styles. Low Acorn. Yeah, Pop Century seems really cool. I haven't opened any of it. 
I did see the cards at the National. Leaf had like display cases with just different cards. The design, I like the way it looks. So. Would love to be able to do that case draft tonight. If not, like I said, I'll be out of town next weekend. Unless Bossman wants to do it next weekend. But set box first. Lotto ticket packs last. All righty. Well, we're just going to skip on into break number two. Mater Master's set booster box and then the collector booster. Let's go ahead and get cracking here by snapping into the corner. And here we go. Cartography cards says the list this year isn't too bad either. I was impressed by a lot of the signers they had, like Andrew Garfield, Selma Hayek. I was impressed. I was like, what? Really? I also don't set the price. That's boss man, by the way. Before any of y'all give me grief on anything. Let's take a look at our box loader here. Look for these power packed Fander Masters pre-cons. Then scan here to discover the coolest card. Georgie, would you like me to ship you this? If you want it, I'll include it in your package. If not, I'll keep it for myself. Alrighty, guaranteed foil and art card. Pack one. Oh, we do have the stamped art card, some sort of sliver. That is mana weft sliver. Georgie says no thanks. Alrighty. Move that out of the way. Makes my life easier, Georgie. Thank you. Alright, start off token, foil, carrier thrall. Decree of pain and suffering. Arachnogenesis. Udric, Master Tactician. Wow, three rares to kick things off. Uh, uncommons, commons. Darksteel Mutation, Borderless Uncommon. And the basic. He was okay, we skipped over break one because it's not full. So we're just uh, hopping over it. For starters. Um, what's the best way to do this? Do, do, do. Alpha Wolf, welcome. Serac the Hunt Collar, foil. Sword of the Animist, Evacuation, and Yuriko. Friend Dynamo, Borderless. And Nettier's Nightblade, Borderless. Flames. Open my box of Obsidian Flames one day. Got a gold Chawazoud, Knights. Congrats, that's a funky looking sliver. What is that? A sliver grave mother. It's creepy looking. Slivers are weird. They're cool, but they're weird. Zada, Hedron Grinder, Foil. Stone of Chieftain, Azusa. And ooh, here we go. Profile picture. Yuriko. Frantic search. Implode off the list. Fists of flame. Sabine's reclamation. Carador. Just the two rares that time. Man Tower and a Foil Swamp. A lot. I I personally imagine that the drafts would get postponed once and then potentially cancelled, honestly. There's like A lot of spots open. So. Spawn Ride. Now here's Nightblade. Foil Borderless. Treasure Nabber. Fiery Confluence. 
Endrek Sar, Master Breeder. Excuse me. No mythics yet, interestingly enough. She is Shizo's caretaker. Those are two different borderless styles. I mean, nuts. Halloran, Sky Summoner, Foil Rare, Borderless. Doubling Seasons, our first mythic, Toxic Deluge, and Avacyn. Yo, this pack, this pack, if you just bought this one pack. Yeah. If you guys got like just one pack and that was your pack, you should buy a lotto ticket. That was a stupid pack, bro. That was actually nuts. Elvish Mystic and the Basic. That was insane. That pack was insane. Doubling Season, Avacyn, and Toxic Deluge. <laughs> hey, that's cool. The Soul Ring. Meyer Triton. Deathly, uh, Deadly Rollick. Not bad. Mizix of Is Magnus. Arachn Genesis. God, I need more piles. I like this soul ring art. The soul ring art looks like it belonged in the Lord of the Rings set, though. For some reason. Like, I just get, like, one ring vibes from it. I think because it's just on fire. It makes me think of the ring for some reason. I just get that vibe. I don't know what to do with their piles. The easiest thing to do would be to stop doing the showcase card border, the showcase borderlets, separate from the regular borderlets, but my mind needs them to be separate. We do have stamped art card of Reality Shift. Hey, Dan, welcome. Hero's Blade. Star of Extinction. Finally got downshifted. Wayward Swordtooth and Teferi. I remember Star of Extinction was a mythic. All that glitters. Cool card was that extra planar lens. I didn't sleeve up that stamped foil. Regal Behemoth, Balan, Wandering Knights, Strix, the Sudden Storm. It's an uncommon from Theros Beyond Death. A hey, Soul Ring. This is our first normal Soul Ring. Commander's Sphere. Because every art card has a stamped parallel, the stamped signature parallel, but some of the art they selected for the set, they don't have signatures, so they put the Planeswalker stamp. That's why. It's like the parallel set of the gold stamps, but some of the cards don't have it. And I, I just don't know how they don't have the artist signature on file. I get why they do it, I just don't necessarily understand why they have to. Island ran away. Campfire. Greater Hoof. Bro. Greater Hoof's in this set? I had no idea. I'm assuming Crater Hoof is no longer a $45 card, but still nice. Maelstrom Wanderer. We've got some nice mythics in this box. Tatiova Benthic Druid.
Toxic Iguana off the list. Phyrexian Gargantua. Curtain's Call. Spectator Seating. Dracusat. Counter Spell and a Foil Mountain. Art card of Kembra. Pleasure. Windcaller Aven. Fierce Guardianship. That card's still $35. Mind's a Glow. Demon Lord Bells and Lock. <laughs> the duality of rares. The duality of rares. Get one back. This is cool, because since I've only opened up collector boosters, I've, like, barely seen what's in the set. So I'm like, whoa! That's cool! Fierce is still 40? Sick. And Demon Lord of Benz and Locks, like, what, 20 cents? I think it was, uh, 20 cents out of Dominaria. If that. That's a cool art card. What card is this? Loyal Subordinate. Dread Return Foil. Imp's Mischief. Heroic Intervention. Miri. Welcome, Brandon. Faithless Looting. I'll sleeve up the Fierce Guardianship. And probably the Crater Hoof art card, I imagine. Mishra's Helix. Chat, tell me what the sleeve. Of course, since these all just got reprinted, I'm not sure what prices are on stuff. Balefire Dragon. Because I'm used to what they were last time. Like, last I remember, Balefire was like 19. Zetalpa. So let me know what to sleeve, please. Path of Ancestry. We have another signature stamp. This one's for Stonehoof Chieftain. Gilded Lotus Foil Rare. Love that card. It's beautiful. It's our first regular Foil Rare. Ogre Slumlord Ur Dragon. Storm Kiln Artist. Doubling Season. Fierce. Oh, yeah. I literally already forgot about the Fierce. Or I uh, already forgot about the Doubling Season. Not even gonna lie. I forgot that that existed. Because <laughs> it's not on top of the pile. <laughs> Ur Dragon. Sick. Do, do. Set has over 100 rares. The, the real thing you're mastering is mastering card collecting out of this set. Uh, did I just sleeve all the mythics? They've all been pretty good, right? Elfire, Crater Hoof, Avacyn, Ur Dragon, Doubling Season. The superior art for Doubling Season is still the two dinosaur babies from original Double Masters. That is still the superior doubling season art. I love that play mat. Oh, this is cute. What is this? That's Undergrowth Stadium. Huh. Looks more bright than the original card. Ghidorah. Uh, Verdant Confluence. Days Undoing. Queen Marchesa. And Grenzo. Just sleeve every card. Elwar Stone, generous gift. Furnace of Wrath, 
Supply Runners, Tempt with Vengeance, Divergent Transformations, Heartless Hidetsugu, Red Return, Was that a Judas showcase? No, a Deadly Rollick. Spike Bellows, Idol of Oblivion, Obnixilis. Yo, Obnixilis looking different. What the heck? I've I've never seen Obnixilis look like that. That's weird to me. It's very weird. What what set is that from originally? Is that new? Man tower. Yeah, I walked into the shop yesterday to go get stuff, and then it was like packed to the gills. They're doing like a pre release or something. I was like, what the heck? Curious what MSRP is supposed to be? I think it's like around $4 a pack on Lorcana, which is, I think, what we had it at whatever MSRP was. But it was limited to like per severely limited per person. And then I think if you participated in the event, you got the ability to buy more packs. Oh, I never sleeved up the other signature card. It was packed to the gills, though, in store yesterday. Obnixilis was a human. I've never seen human Obnixilis, though. It's, it's throwing me off. Frantic search. Uh, that's the, that's Artificer's Assistant. I know that because I collected this card out of the original Dominaria. I have it in like six different languages. He's just a cute little bird. Nesting dragon, tolerant. Bob Nixless was from a planeswalker deck. Hey, thank you, 50. Georgie says Commander 2014, maybe. Reliquary Tower, Nadir's Nightblade. Sunspear, Shikari, Wake the Dead, Freyalise, Lanoir's Fury, Mawu, Mawu's cute. Frantic Search, Foil. I sleeved up the Avacyn. I sleeved up all the Mythics. I was like, why not? YOLO. Letter of Acceptance. Bribery! Uh, is, is, is bribery so expensive? Personal Tutor. Blood Chief Ascension. Zakama? Oh, Zakama got downshifted. Right? Wasn't Zakama originally a mythic? Or am I losing it? Zakama's Reach. Let's probably sleeve up uh, Bribery as well. It's the only mythic that we haven't sleeved. It's left out. Fiend Lash. Cyclonic Rift. Is this card still $25? I doubt it, but this card this set has a lot of good cards in it. Why did it like crash and burn? This set's fire. Is it just because it costs so high to begin with? I imagine that's the case. Because there's a lot of really great cards in this set. If this was like the normal price of a master set. This would be insane. I think Wizards went too high. Because I, I know product cost on this was nuts. One of the rifts. Still 20. All right, I'll sleep. Do, 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 do. No, makes sense. Well, that's a cool looking card. Champion's Helm. Yo, what is that? That's sparkly. <laughs> that's a really cool Path to Exile art foil. That's cool. Vault of Champions, Righteous Confluence, Grenzo. Elvish Mystic. All 
All right, last pack. Vern Wingmare. Holland Bright Druid. I played this card on Arena. In my... My, what, Simic? My Simic? Simic deck? I think it's Simic. Heavenly Blade Master. Sun Quan, Lord of Wu. I'm assuming this is something from Portal. Never seen that card before. Now, I'll, I'll sleeve up our, our two lonely mythics. Like, there's even good commons, like Thraben Inspector. A lot of great uncommons that I saw. Yeah, it really does seem, I guess, just... They dropped the price by like 150 or even 200, it would have sold extremely well. Yeah. Cost, I think, on set boosters, like, was around the normal cost on regular collector boosters, which is insane. Cost on this was like really high. Really, really, really high. I am in favor of down slash upshifting of rarity. I think it's kind of interesting, but I don't have a strong opinion. See, it's weird because I know that in store they've run drafts on this set, and I don't think of like Commander as like a draftable format, but the reason things are different rarities is for draft. Now, you don't want like, I guess, a billion Sun Quans, for example. It's literally just the mythic right here floating around in the drafts, draft packs. So the rarities are for sealed play. But I never really thought of this as a commander as a sealed thing. But there's some mythics that I don't think deserve to be mythics. They kind of are poopy. Like that that one from Ixalan, the Star of Destruction or whatever. Has never really been a good card. Maybe it was good in like pre-release if you pulled one. Right? It's rare to pull. That's why it's a mythic. But you think of mythic equal good card. But, like... The mythic does not always equal good card in general. It, equal, it should equal good card for sealed if you are running that kind of deck. But, I don't know. I'm not a pro magic player. so I, I don't have a real opinion. That is just why stuff exists. But I do think... Some mythics that were downshifted should probably have never been mythics. So, let's take a look at all of our sleeve cards. I just sleeved all of our mythics because most of them were really, really good. Uh, and also a couple of blue cards. Blue is also good. Blue is a good color. Uh, Fierce Guardianship and Cyclonic Rift. Uh, Ur Dragon, Doubling Season. Balefire Dragon, Crater Hoof, Avacyn, Sun Quan, and Bribery. I sleeved them all up. Very nice. We had two foil rares, one borderless, one regular foil rare, Gilded Lotus, and the Talrant. Um, rare, other rares for the showcase borderless. We had Utico and Grenzo. And Arachnogenesis for the regular borderless rare. We did have some rare cards off the list. Uh, Mishra's Helix. Spawn, uh, Spawn Rive. We had three signature stamped cards. Doubling Season got up to 80? That's nuts. I thought, I remember Doubling Season being around like 50. So it going up to 80. That's definitely news to me. I sleeved this one upside down. Then for all of our other rares, we had some lands in here. Do, 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 do. We didn't get the top two lotus and dragon. Which dragon's the top dragon? But yeah, we did not find a jeweled lotus, but we found a lot of really good other cards. Do, 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 do. Heroic intervention in there. <laughs> Demon Lord Ben's unlocked. Spectator seating, Maelstrom Wanderers, cool looking. Uh, we have the Zakama. This card, this card is a good downshift. Fairy, Deadly Rollick, Toxic Deluge. I should sleeve the, that. Uh, is Treasure Naver still expect? I don't know. 
Is this still eleven dollars? I don't know. Azusa, I know, is cheap now. I'm gonna sleeve the toxic deluge. That pack still holds like best pack. That was nuts. Toxic Deluge, Shrike, Crater Hoof, and Avacyn was all in the same pack. Oh yes, and of course we do still have the co the collector booster. I honestly forgot about it. But yeah, still have the collector booster box to get on into. Let me finish tidying up these piles. It went down. I still sleep. There's still a lot of really good cards in here. Racking Genesis, like, 8 to 10 blocks? Nice. Alrighty. Woo woo. Commander Masters Collector Booster. Why is the shrink wrap on this one funny looking? Doo -doo -doo -doo. I still need a foil baby dino one. I never got that card when it bottomed out. I should have. I was like, I don't need it, but I want it. The little baby dragons. One of my favorite playmats, too. Big money, no tolerance. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here we go. All right. Let's see. Is land. Kemba. Enter's Gifts, Vandal Blast, Gallic Field Marshal, Etched Kozilek, not bad, Boon of the Spirit Realm, Balefire Dragon, this looks sick. Looks like Smaug, but it looks sick. And Arachnogenesis Foil. Bird! It's a bird! I'm gonna sleeve up the Kozilek. Yeah, let me know if I should sleeve up anything else. As we go through, as I try to manage all of these piles. A rat token back there. Gore Claw Downshift. Interesting. All right. Faithless Looting. Belwar Stone. All that glitters. Chaina, Chainer Dementia Master. Savage Beating, Mythic. Nyxborn Behemoth, Foil. Tykar, Winds Fury. Tykar's judging me. And Regal Behemoth, Foil. Monarch Token. Running out of space! Alrighty, Dread Return, Counterspell, Dama's Reach Foil, Azami, Lady of Scrolls, Verdant Confluence, Etched, Flare of Loyalties, Azusa, and Azusa Foil. Interesting, same card. Same. Azusa and then Azusa. All right, last pack. Come on, load it. Come on, load it. Come on, load it. Grand Dynamo. Command Tower. Command Tower. Tooth and Nail Foil. Hendrek Sar, Master Breeder. Her name is weird. Omarthus, Ghostfire Initiates. Is this a new character? Mythic Extended Art. Kindred Dominance. And a foil balefire dragon? That is foil balefire dragon. That is cool looking. Interesting, though, why there are so many duplicates here. Two Azusas, two Balefires, 
Two command towers. Interesting. And it is a new guy on the Amorphous. He's cool looking. Spirit Naga. That's alrighty. Let's take a look here. No tolerance. We did have two regular borderless foils, Regal Behemoth and Arachnogenesis on the profile picture ones, Azusa foil, Azusa non-foil, and our Angry Goose Boy. Pale, uh, a pale, a pair of Balefire Dragons. I'll sleeve those up. We also had the Kindred Dominance. Two Etched Mythics, Savage Beating, and Puzalek. On Rares, Verdict Confluence, and Endric Sar. And just one Extended Art Foil, Nyxborn Behemoth. If I want the Goose Boy, I could keep it. If I ever feel, if I ever feel lazy... I can feel bad about it when I read the... I can just read this flavor text and feel extra bad about myself. This Kai car is just in the corner cracking the whip. Go to 3 a.m. doing breaks. Ah. <laughs> and then for the Extended Arts, we had Boon of the Spirit Realm, Flare of Loyalties, Amorphous Mythic. And then for our regular foil rares, Angelic Field Marsher, Chainer, Zami, and Tooth and Nail. Is Tooth and Nail still sleevable? I mean, all cards are sleevable, but... I remember when Tooth and Nail was like... $30. Back in my day! Right in what, 2017? High Car Bird of Judgment. Well, thank you for... Thank you for Goose Boy, Georgie. I appreciate that. Alright. This is some crazy good mythics, though, in the set booster box. That set booster box was crazy. All right. A lot of the $10, $20 cards in older versions are $5 makes affordable. That is true. That is true. It's weird because, like, a master set, I feel, helps make magic more affordable with a lot of really good reprints, but then the boxes are priced at a non-affordable price range. I hope that next master set, right, it goes back to like a normal master set. So. Right? Like like double masters, like with the regular draft boosters. And then if they want to make a VIP or a collector booster or whatever, go for it. But like regular original pricing back on the day and double ma regular double masters was not crazy. I mean, I know it's crazy now. That's like what five fifty a box. Last time I looked. Uh, very cool. But thank you so much, Georgie, for letting me open on up some magic for you. So I says I just came into the stream and read "Life is Meaningless." Life is meaningless until put to use. That's why Kai Car's in the corner cracking the whip. Then get back to work. You useless non goose woman. Thank you, Georgie. A lot of fun with that. Congrat congrats on the really nice set box as well. Very nice. Double masters at two fifty a box? No way. No way. Double masters is two fifty a box. I'm gonna buy some. Be like, guys, we have double masters packs here on whatnot. No, they're five hundred dollars a box. Market five fifteen. No, because I was like, "Yo, let me get some of that. Let me get some of that." No, no, no double masters breaks on whatnot. <laughs> I guess I still I just have M twenty five, which is still a good set. Whenever you feel useless, just remember you're not gooseless. Oh, I love it. I love it. I would pin that comment, but I want to keep up the pin comment about Pop Century. <laughs> Double Masters is two fifty a box on eBay. Let me look. 
Let me look. Where's the chip from? Let me see. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is any of it? Um, <laughs> scrolling. I'm scrolling. Do I have to take out draft? Let me just put booster box. Booster box. Uh, uh, there's one. Oh, it's French. It's French for 400. There's one 500. 555. Daniel, I think you're looking at Double Masters 2022. Yeah. I'm looking at draft boxes. There, there's none of them. I think you're looking at the wrong I think you're looking at the wrong set. I'm talking about Double Masters where we found the bent in half mana crypt and I melted. So. But with that, that does Yeah, no, I'm talking about original Double Masters. Original Double Masters was like just cool out the gate. Well, cost on it wasn't that crazy. Cost on Double Masters is less than cost on Commander Masters. So, let me go ahead and unsnap, though, and move this one out of the way. Let me hit refresh over on the website. I think we'll probably be having to move the Pop Century. I'll still, I'll still leave it up. I'll still leave the queue open for tonight. Anthony says, the melt is still one of my favorite moments on the channel. And yeah, the $100 VIP box. Yeah. The collector booster. Light. Well. I guess it's the equivalent of like one of these collector booster packs. But with more good cards in it. Because you get a lot of like, oh, you get more borderless stuff now, but you get like borderless commons and uncommons. You didn't you didn't have that back in my day. You didn't have borderless commons. So well, let me go ahead and move this on out of the way. When I come back. We have a Star Wars flagship boxes for Rezikai and Sinafe. Or Sinafe. Let me check. I'm so sorry. You even wrote out how to pronounce it, and I still butchered it. Sinafe. Let me move this out of the way. And I do want to know, for the two of you, can I combine them, or do you want me to like do box one and then pack it up and then do the next box and pack it up? So that way they're separate. Let me know in chats while I move this out of the way, and I will be back shortly. Back in my day, we didn't have mythics. Okay, boomer. Ah, got him. I can combine them. We live together. All right. We'll do. 
Thank you for making my life easier. Back in my day, we called draft boosters boosters, and there were only foil and non-foils. I remember when collector boosters were first introduced, and then, and then we got set boosters. It was weird, and now they're just so normal, but it was, like, weird when those first came out. It was also incredibly difficult to pull, like, borderless and mythics and stuff. And, like, the showcase mythics. They were, like, really, really hard to find in Throne of Eldraine. And now it's like, oh, here you go. Here you go. Here's 16 of them. Whoa! Alrighty, let's update that queue number to three here. Boop. That's why since back in my day, people threw away LEDs. Yeah, that's true. Daniel says, Allie, you're not old enough to do the back of my day. My heart. Alrighty, so for Rezikai and Cinefe, you have two boxes, one for each one, one for each person. Super box, but the flagship hobby boxes. So there are 24 packs and then the one exclusive wide vision card. I'm assuming the wide vision inclusion is the reason the boxes are so large, although I do think it would still fit on top of like a normal size box, like the chrome size boxes. Uh, but instead, I will say they're fun to look at. They're not fun for shops to have to put them on the shelf or me to put them in the storeroom. Nothing else is shaped like this. It's very obnoxious, but they look fun. They look fun. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get on into these here for Rezekai and Cinefe by Snap it into the corner. Alright, here we go. Box number one. Very excited to see what we'll find. We opened our first box of this last weekend. We found a lenticular. We found an autograph. Uh, it was really fun. We found a couple of numbered parallels. I like the design. I like the inserts. Excited to see what we find this time. No, your box is last currently, Dawn. Your box is this one here that you can't see. Now I think you can see it. It's right here. All right. Let me go ahead and extract everything. We got our wide vision. And we got our little pack bundles. There's six stacks of four. Am I going to pull a huge card? Yes, there will be a huge card. Who is the autograph of? Karen Fukuhara. Right here we go. Let's start off with our big old wide vision card, which is a different size than the old wide vision cards. Let's take a look. And a uh, Marvel Ant-Man card, guys. Says, how do I buy a box of Allure? Since it is less than 180 days old, you do have to send an email, and then I would get back to you with price. And then if you say yes, that's good. Then I'd send you a PayPal invoice. Or when the shop's open, you can call and do it over the phone. We do have Boba Fett riding the Rancor here. That's cool looking. It is DW4. All right, here we go. Pack one. We do have the Kylo Ren insert. Well, yeah, right? These are the lightsaber ones. Yeah, the lightsabers. Kylo Ren. Jib Dodger, 
rainbow, Death Star, locations, hey, it's Hondo. I love the images used in this set. There's a lot of images that are new. We have Epic Clashes inserts, Ahsoka versus the Magistrate. Dagobah. We have Mace Windu lightsaber. Grogu. I like how BB-8 just zooming in this card. Dio. And Ryloth. We have a green here. Don't remember what the greens are number two. We do have a backwards Hera. Oh, that should be the green. Green on green, 138 out of 499 Hera. Comet covers insert and Sereno locations. Soka lightsabers. Cad Bane and Moncala. Comet covers. Flashes, Kylo Ren versus the Praetorians. Ooh, General Grievous. Darth Vader. On Solo, comic covers. The image variations are pretty nice, too. Those are the ones with the white border, right? Octo. I'm very disappointed that this set does not have... Like, this card doesn't have Porgs on it. It's not right. Epic Clashes, Ray versus the Praetorians. Uh oh, it's Qui Gon. Pack fresh damaged, unfortunately. Rezekai and Sinefe, uh, if you'd like, I'll include. I can cut out the UPC of the box and include a pack uh, with your order when I ship it out. And you could go through to do any like damage replacements with tops. I don't know if it's worth it to like pay to ship it all out, but if you'd like to, I can definitely give you everything you need. Captain Phasma cover and Lucia Moff Gideon. Don't worry about it. Thanks. So. All right. No problem. Salacious B crumb for you. Anakin versus Count Dooku clashes. All right, last pack here for the first half. Looks like we do have an orange. Play a marquee. That is 190 of 299 orange. Hawk Lando cover. All right, second half of box one, we do have the Ezra. We 
Luke, Jakku, Darth Vader with Dr. Afra and Clashes, Anakin versus Obi-Wan. Ventress. Bo-Katan. And Darth Vader cover. Mandalore. I put a clashes in the locations pile. Oops. Put that Anakin Obi Wan in the wrong pile. Kit Fisto. Meme. Twilight Server. Poe. Mace Windu versus Janko Fett clashes. I will say the clashes are kind of funny. Yoda lightsabers. I like this Padme image chosen. Very non traditional. Paz Vizla and Yavin. Isn't this Yavin 4? Fourth moon of Yavin, I suppose it is. Not even Yavin. It's one of Yavin's fourth moon. Technically. <gasps> Grogu! What is this? <gasps> the child! This is AK-4? Grogu! It's cute. I don't know what it is, but I like it. I'm going to sleeve it. Epic Clashes. Mace Windu versus Palpatine. And Obi-Wan versus Count Dooku. Grogu. Grogu in search of the truth. The child. All right. A few packs to go here in box one. Daniel says Younglings versus Anakin. Notice having extremely limited runs, the AKA displays nicknames for popular characters. Oh, it's a short print. Nice. Short print Grogu. Cute. One in 132 packs. Wow. Caladurit. Man, we've been having a lot of inserts with like assorted edgeware in the corners of this box. Very unfortunate. Pull an R2. Nice. Coruscant. Flashes Obi Wan versus Vader. All right, two packs to go here. In box one, Darth Sidious lightsabers. Tuscan Chief, Alderaan. All right, last pack. We do have the comic cover and crate locations. All right, so new two numbered parallels, a green and an orange, and the Grogu case hit in. Box one. Rezekai says, I still call him Baby Yoda. I do too. I say Baby Yoda or Grogu. I don't really say the child. 
I think I most often say Baby Yoda. Alrighty, one box down. Very nice. I wonder if we can see another lenticular. That card was really cool last week. But now I want to see more of the AKAs. Alright, super box. Right, wide vision card. Take out the packs. All right. Here we go. Open up that wide vision. We have the cool rancor scene. All right, Mortalana 1, DW21. What do we have here? That's cool. This is from Andor, I think. Yep, Cassian went to Mortalana 1, trying to track down his missing sister. Uh oh, spoilers. I still haven't watched Andor yet. All right, here we go. Off Darth Vader lightsaber. Niku Vozo and Bespin. Comic cover clashes on Mustafar. I have the high ground. Darth Maul. Tam Rivora. Looks like we're starting off with some resistance foils. On Solo, White Border, Short Prince, cool. Corellia, and Yoda versus Dooku, Epic Clashes. Ezra Lightsaber. Cassian and Tatooine. Comic cover, that's cool. The uh, the Senate guards. Obi Wan versus Maul. Epic clashes. Ventress lightsaber. Is the Ashoka is the Ahsoka show starting next week? Darth Vader cover. Don Prime says, "This is my box." No, your box is at the end. Remember, it's this one all the way at the end. Now Hutta and Obi Wan comic cover. Soka show starts Tuesday. This is it really a Tuesday? I thought they started usually on Wednesdays. Interesting. Oh, why am I doing why am I flipping over the cards at the back of the pack? Karis foil. Comic cover.
Mandalorian versus Moff Gideon clashes. Little Dameron comic cover. Yoda. Mon Mothma foil. LaFall. Interesting. Uh, at the back of this pack, we do have a white border Poe as well. That was a little odd, just chilling there. And then green R2, 424 out of 499. Flashes Ray versus Kylo and Chewbacca comic cover. Wow, two white borders in this box. There were zero in box one. Two in this one. All right, still half of the second box to get on into. Luke, lightsaber. Second sister foil. Actually, another bent corner insert. Come on, Tops. You put everything in this big old box and somehow... The cards still get damaged. Jetta. Luke versus Vader. She was Kimo Sobe, but then she left the uh she left the Jedi after like she got framed for something and then they're they didn't believe her and then she proved their innocence and then they're like oh tee -hee, the force works in mysterious ways it was a big test ha oopsies and then she's like i'm out i don't y'all suck <laughs> so then she just says, Boop. and it was an interesting retcon right because then then Anakin didn't have an apprentice to become a Jedi, so he couldn't be promoted to Jedi Master because he didn't have that required. But. Alright. Obi-Wan versus Grievous. Poe comic cover. Count Dooku. R2-D2 foil. Yo, the Ahsoka Leaves the Jedi Order music, that soundtrack is like one of the best Star Wars OSTs. The Ahsoka Leaving song. I now crave listening to it. Navarro and Poe comic cover. Uh, not yet. The first Chrome Platinum will be up next, System and Chaos. We got three boxes up next for MT. The Grand Inquisitor. It's weird how his head was photoshopped for the base card, but not for that one. That one, he still looks like a bulb. I love this Ray picture, too. Garza Whip. Chic Scarif, uh, green. I hey, one of twenty five. That's cool. Scarif with the um, with the the number stamper that they use when they make uh, Formula One cards instead of just the regular number stamp. Comet cover and Mustafar. You know, it's really unfortunate that they couldn't get Anakin back to um, Coruscant in time. It was too Mustafar away, and he lost his legs. Maybe if it was Musta close. 
would have been better. Obi Wan Kenobi. No, no, no one's even gonna. Bo okay, there we go. I was like, no one even booed me yet. Moff Gideon, Naboo. Why are you not nabooing me right now? Flashes, Luke versus Vader. Small comic cover. Kanan. Quill, Genosis, Flashes, Qui Gon versus Maul, and Camino. Demetrius says, Somebody stop her. Allie, what do you got there? A knife? All righty. So we did get a handful of numbered cards. Unfortunately, did not find a lenticular or an autograph, but we did find a different case hit in the form of that Grogu, a.k.a. Short Print. So congrats, Resikai and Cinefe, on your boxes. Crazy how box two also had two white parallels. It was unnumbered white borders. We had the Poe and the Han Solo. And then lowest numbered card, we had the Scarif insert, number one of 25. Play a marquee, orange, 190 of 299. And two green parallels, Hera, 138 of 499. And the R2, 424 of 499. But thank you so much for letting me open on up some Star Wars flagship for you both. I really hope that you enjoyed it and love these new additions to your collection. Emosome says, making Ahsoka actually canon just feels so weird to me. Can Ahsoka has always been canon. The Clone Wars was always canon. The 2008 Clone Wars, right? And I guess the uh, 2000. But the new Clone Wars has always been can uh, canon. The, or the original one wasn't. So it's not making Ahsoka can uh, canon. It's just making Ahsoka would be the correct way to phrase it. Excuse me, but... The Forge Unleashed was not canon. I don't believe. I believe that was extended. They were also said to be canon. Really? It's not main storyline, though, is it? All right, with that, let me go ahead and unsnap. Move this one out of the way. It was advertised as canon? Uh, canon? That's weird, then. I was all... Uh, I never had... I didn't have video game systems when that game came out. Interesting. But yeah, all the main storyline stuff is canon. A lot of the books were not canon, though. That's the weird thing when it gets to books. A lot of the books were canon, and a lot of them weren't, too. There's A lot of them were just kind of... Force and Lease takes place between three and four. Oh, is the Force and Lease where, like, the fourth death of uh, Shakti is? Why does Shakti die so many times? 
I was like, wait, I think I should have known that Force Unleashed was around main storyline time. I think that's where one of the 10 million shock T deaths occur. All right, let me take a few trips to move everything out of the way. Then I will be back. Shock T's fourth death on Felucia. All right, we've got some new boxes getting added to the queue. Got some more Hollow Life and some more Star Wars. Star Wars! All righty. Go ahead and update our queue. Hollow Life for Jimmy C. Um, Have y'all heard that? Honest. I think I went ahead and put, um, I moved the Pop Century draft because that's not going to fill. I moved it to the next stream that we'll have. Let me just go ahead and update the description on that. But I, I'm not, I'm not changing our queue numbers. I'm not going through and updating them. I will change the title, but I'm not updating the queue numbers. So. 
All right, gonna be getting on into break number four of the night. We have three boxes of Chrome Platinum Anniversary for MT. This set has been very kind to us so far. We've had a box with two autos in it. We've had a box with Red Refraction 5 in it. Um, it's been fun. I like it. I like the design. I like how much numbered stuff we're getting per box. I'm excited. Let's just go ahead and jump right on into it here for MT by Snap it into the corner. And here we go. Box one. All right, here we go. We do have David Peralta backwards for some reason. Bo Jackson, pink. Atomic, 41 of 100. We've had no rookie cards so far. Bo Jackson to 100. Typically finding six numbered cards per box. We've had a couple boxes with only five numbered cards. There we go. Romy Gonzalez rookie. But typically finding six. Jackson Coar, Griffin Jacks, Rookie Refractor. Cal Raleigh. We have a Kerbin Castro. We have yellow coming up. Jock Pedersen, 206 of All right, last pack in the right column. You have Gary Sheffield, Refractor, and Kevin Smith, Rookie. TJ Freidel. Tyler Gilbert, Speckle, 113 of 150. Jake Cousins, Joey Wendell, Orange Autograph. That should be the 25, 6 of 25, Joey Wendell. Nice. It's actually our second on well, our second orange auto of the case. Impressive. Shane Bass, refractor. Brandon Marsh, Pozo, Kettle Marte, fifty three of one hundred.
Oliver Ortega rookie. Royce Lewis, rookie refractor. All right, last column of the box. Box one of three. Seth Beer. Reed Detmers. Jeremy Pena. 20 of 150, Warren Spawn. Speckle. Jake Cousins, Rookie Auto. Interesting. The other box, I was wondering, I didn't want to jinx it, but the other box that we had the orange auto, we also had two autos in. It was a rookie base auto, and then, like, a Legends orange. Like, the other one, it was Vlad Sr. And a TJ Friedel or something. This one, we have Jake Cousins and Joey Wendell. Two autos in one box. John Means, Refractor. Yeah, Kevin Smith, Aqua. 216 of 299. Kyle Lewis is our X Fractor of the box. Alfonso Rebus. All right, last pack, box one. Trevor Hoffman. All righty. What's the best auto we pulled from this so far? I don't know in terms of value, but we have found a base Rod Carew, a Vlad Senior out of 25, and a Casey Mize number to five. I don't know which of those is more expensive. I don't know how hot Casey Mize is anymore. Vlad Sr.'s cool. I like that it was on an Expos uniform. But I would also think the Rod Carew is up there as well. There's been some neat stuff out of this product. Alright, box two. We'll start on the right side. O'Neill Cruz, Glenn Otto, Refractor. Otto Lopez. Packy Naughton. Jacob Stallings, 91 of 100. Stephen Kwan, rookie. Bryce Elder. Jake McCarthy. Peyton Henry, Refractor. Helio Ramos. Jackson Reitz, Rookie Refractor. Bernie Williams, I remember when I was ki a kid, I don't know why in particular I had it. I don't know if like my parents found it like on sale somewhere, but I had a, a tiny little, in, a, in first grade, and then I outgrew it, I had a Bernie Williams jersey. It was cool. I remember wearing it, but not 
quite knowing who Bernie Williams was. I only knew, like, Jeter and Posada and A-Rod. <laughs> I was like, who's Bernie Williams? <laughs> I don't know who this is, but it's my Yankee shirt. Lothar, Trevor Rogers, X Fractor, Bobby Witt Jr. Clayton Kershaw, Zach Thompson, Acorns booing me. Rude. Acorns booing me because he's a Red Sox fan. Hateful. We have John Means. 43 of 100. Sammy Long. AJ Alexi. Matt Veerling, David Wright, Barco says Bernie Williams would be disappointed. And me? What did I do? Is we Okay, so the pack before that had five cards, and then that pack had three cards. We have a red Alec Baum. 84 of 100. Eli Morgan. Spencer Torkelson. Robin Yount. 155 out of 250. Again, this card pack has a bonus card. Patrick Mazika. A lot of rookies in that pack. All right, we still haven't found our auto in box two yet. 18 of 75, Derek Lee. Right, that one pack that had a missing card is now stressing me out. I thought it's just because we had packs that had five cards. Then we were due for a pack with three cards. But now I'm stressed. There's only two packs to go. I don't want to have to print out the forms. Oh, no, there we go. All right. Uh, Drew Ellis, rookie. Uh, MT says, keep the DOS and any expos for your mom. I thank you, MT. Very kind of you. I'm sure she... I don't know if she's watching. But I'm sure she really appreciates that. Where was he? There he was. All right, last pack. Josh Bell. Righty. Last I had seen come across my my endless scrolling on the internet was that there was someone else also from the Dominican that was a 12 year old is what I saw last I looked so I have no idea we, we I Maybe wrongfully in putting my faith in the MLB to take a look and figure out. But as we know, with uh, pro sports organizations, are not the best at um, investigating things like that, as we can tell by the NHL. Um, we'll 
We'll see, right? We'll see. And all right, box three. Can you eat the Altuve from box one? You know, I was waiting. I was like, is MT, where's MT at? There was an Altuve that we came across. It was around here somewhere. Where is the Altuve? I haven't thrown anything at the wall in a little while. All right, the Otani, I think, was pretty early on into box two, or maybe it was the end of box one. There's an Altuve around here somewhere. Okay. There he is. Oh, that's like behind the shelf. That that went to the void. That's never coming out unless the shelf gets moved. All right, box three. Magic was up first, crown magic. Yes, the magic's already done for tonight. On Sutton, 89 of 199. He says muscle in that one. I've been going to the gym. I've been working out. There's actual muscle to throw with now. If I ever open you a towel end, I can destroy it. There was the towel end foil in the fur in the set box. Don Mattingly. The showcase profile picture borderless card. This is a foil. Garrett Cole. 209 of 299. That's right, I blocked it out. The goose is superior. <laughs> Every time I feel tired, I just look over and Kai Car tells me my life is meaningless if I'm not working. Ichiro. I remember, I remember when Ichiro was Ichiro Suzuki and not just Ichiro. Jackie Robinson, 23 of 100. Cool. There's A Rod. David just subscribed. Welcome, David. Chris Taylor. AJ Alexi. Kai Car says Altuve says an Altuve card is meaningless until it gets a yeet. <laughs> and then it has been given purpose. Mike Bauman. Blue. 77 of 199. This is nice color in these boxes. Yeah, a lot of it too.
Chat, can you guess what I had for dinner? Salvador Perez. All right, still waiting on our auto. Aaron Nola. Four of 100. Night Scott, take care. MT says Taco Bell. Taco Bell is incorrect. Jim Palmer, that's cool. Blue on blue, that looks actually really nice. 30 or 82 of 99, Jim Palmer. Really nice looking card. Shannon says chicken in some form, that is correct. I want specifics. As well as quantity specifics. All right, a few packs left. Robbie Ray. Bryant. Paul O'Neill, 37 of 50. 10 piece nuggets. No, but close. Jonathan India is our X Fractor. Five piece tenders from, Pop uh, from Popeyes. No, I, I don't eat Popeyes. I've never actually had Popeyes. KFC chicken nuggies? No, I, I haven't had KFC in a long time. 20 piece McNuggets? No. It is not fast food for once. Rentiera and Rod Carew to wrap us off. One box of popcorn chicken? No. But I am quite hungry at this very moment. My my dinner of X thing and X quantity was not sufficient. I need more. I crave more of the exact same thing. All righty, let's go ahead and tidy up. Get into a recap. We have four autos out of three boxes. Box one had a bonus. Here for MT. This way says Olive Garden chicken nuggets. No. No. Olive Garden nuggets. No. What? All right, let's take a look. We did have two numbered autographs. We had the blue Jim Palmer, 82 of 99. And the orange Joey Wendell, 6 of 25. Drew Ellis, base auto. Jake Cousins, base auto. Both rookies. X Fractors, we had Jonathan India, Trevor Rogers, and Kyle Lewis. And then a lot of different color, a lot of different varieties. I'm not going to say the numberings on each one, but we will pan through them all. All right. Paul O'Neill, Aaron Nola, Mike Bauman, Jackie Robinson, Garrett Hull, Don Sutton, Derek Lee, Robin Yount, Alec Baum, John Means, Jacob Stallings, Kevin Smith, Warren Spawn, Kettle Marte, Tyler Gilbert, Jock Pedersen, and Bo Jackson. M2 with the five dollars super chats. Good look, good work. Love from North Kakalaki. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, MT, for the super chat. Really appreciate it. And congrats on your boxes and your bonus autos. Super cool. Also, super weird to have another bonus auto be an orange auto out of twenty-five. That's weird. We'll take it though. We'll definitely take that. But all right, so let me go ahead and unsnap, work on moving all of this on out of the way. When I come back, we'll get into our first Wise opening of the night. Two boxes of Mushoko Tensei for Eric. So Eric, if you are here, make some noise. Like I said, a couple trips to move everything, and then I'll be back with that opening shortly.
Pedro just subscribed. Welcome, Pedro. Uh, as a full-grown adult, I had 15 dinosaur nuggets for dinner. I wish I had more. I want more. All right, added some Marvel Annual to the queue. Two boxes of... 2021 annual. We are down to just one last box on that now. We are now up to 12. Breaks the night. I guess really 11, but. Eric, are you here? I'm going to go grab water real quick. Hold on.
That's quite impressive, Shannon. All right, well, now that I have snacked, we can go ahead and update our queue number to five. Hey, girls and boys, boys, welcome. All right, Eric is here. Exciting to get on into some Mushoku Tensei. Some very, very nice cards in the set. Very playable release as well. Some expensive double R's overall. Really, really nice set. So let's go ahead and hop on into these two boxes here for Eric. Bye. That was a very aggressive snap. Snap it into the corner and let's get started. Welcome, girls and boys toys. All righty. Starting off a Roxy promo. And here we go. Uh, a tomboy's childhood friend, Sylphiette. Future Guide, Roxy. In the sunlight, Roxy. Adventure Party Dead End, Rudius. Who are the big signers on Leaf Pop Century this year? It's one of Bianca's favorite releases. Um, off the top of my head, I believe I saw... Because I saw a lot of the cards at the National. I remember seeing... I was impressed by Andrew Garfield, Selma Hayek. Pretty sure there's always Harrison Ford, Amelia Clark. Remember they showed off the Clint Eastwood 101 there. Hidden Strength, Eris. It's a really extensive checklist. Shiny, shiny, shiny alert. You have, ooh, nice SR, Seductive Invitation, Eris. Very nice SR. Curious what that card's at. Last time I checked, that card was like $55. Let's see. About $40. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Nice first foil. Battle Stance and Warrior of Superb Race. Horror Elf Brawl, Sylphiette. Living Earnestly, Rudius. Life starting line, Rudius. Strong body. Ooh, nice triple R as well. Eris's request. This is a great box. Great box. Eris's request. Nice, around $18 as well. Very nice Eris cards. Very, very nice start here for Eric.
Destructive Invitation, rare. Audible Gasps. Boreas's family daughter, Eris. Sword God style. Things I can give you, Roxy. Right on the forehead. Swordsman of Beauty. Last pack, box one. Daily Growth, Rudeus. Alrighty, two foil box to kick things off. Stuck of invitation and that triple R. Very nice. Alrighty, time for box two here for Eric. Sylphiat, promo. Hey, Jet Smith, welcome. Quarter Elf Girl. Tom Boyle's childhood friend. Culinary class. Boris's family daughter, talent for magic. In the sunlight. The sunlight Rudeus, living earnestly. Tidy up our piles a little bit. Ooh, shiny, shiny. You have life starting line, Rudeus SR. Angels Haven, Sylphiat, Grazier, Double R. All right, second half of box two. Strong body. Roxy. Words of encouragement. Swordsmanship coach. And in strength, things I can give you. Adventure party dead end. All right, two packs.
Miggard Race Magician, Swordsman of Beauty. All right, so we're going to see a second foil here. Looks like a regular rare to wrap things off. Adventure Party Dead End, Rubius. All righty. So two SRs and one triple R in these two boxes here for Eric. Did get some really nice cards. No SP, but otherwise, outside of the SPs, as nice as you can get, especially in box one. Believe most expensive triple R and most expensive SR in the same box. So let's take a look at our foils. Life starting line Rudius. Seductive invitation Aris. And Aris's request. And for our promos, we did have Sylviat and Roxy. Let's go ahead and pan through our double R's here. Welcome, Valkyrie. So thank you so much, Eric, for letting me open up some more Mushoku Tensei for you. Really hope that you enjoyed it and love these new additions to your collection. Now, at this time, that'll do it for Mushoku Tensei here tonight, although we do have more whites in the form of Hawaii Volume 2 and Slime Volume 3. But yeah, that's... At least for now, I'll close up the queue in a little bit. But for now, that looks like it'll do it on Mushoku Tensei. So with that, that'll wrap off break number five. So let me go ahead and unsnap. Move this on out of the way. When I come back, we'll be finishing off that case of Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary with three more boxes. And those will be for Jerry. Eric says, thank you. You're welcome, Eric. I really hope you enjoyed it and love your new car. Alrighty, I will close the queue when I come back. I'm going to take a short break. So around 10 p.m., eight minutes from now, queue is closed. So last chance to grab anything for tonight. It'll be when I come back and then we're done, done on new break. So let me move this and then, yeah. So you guys have a few minutes. If you want to add anything else here tonight, don't forget, I won't be here next weekend.
Welcome back. Hello. Let me take a look. I don't think there are any new orders, but sometimes the app doesn't work. Let me check PC. PC versus console version. Uh, oh. Alrighty, let me go sneak in here. Uh oh. All right, queue is closed. Do, do, do. Georgie donated $25. This is thanks to the MTG Breaks fam. Hey, thank you, Georgie. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Georgie, you took up the entire, the entire space. <laughs> And it says, all that food talk, had to fix myself a turkey and avocado sandwich. Jerry says, Allie, here to see fire hands. You can see them, they're right here. This box is trying to escape. We're going to open that one first. All your characters are belong to Georgie. They do. All of them belong to G or G. Just the E. Just the E part. Jedi Hunter Deep says, no, it's closed. I did. I just closed the queue. Why? Did you just order something? No. Doesn't look like anything came through, but welcome. How many people have you gotten with your username? Is my question. Let's go ahead and update that Q number to six. The wrong button. Here we go. This is the right button. All righty. So here for Jerry. Let's see some cool cards. Jump on into it. Two boxes of Chrome Platinum Anniversary. At least one auto per box. At least five numbered cards. Let's go ahead and hop on into it. Bye. Snap it into the corner. Many. Really? I'm surprised. That's it must be great when it happens. I would have expected that to like not happen very often. Maybe I'm just like hyper aware. I've almost been bamboozled by some stuff before. But I'm a very fast reader. So my brain sees things before my mouth speaks things. Which, unfortunately, then sometimes I just skip words in my sentences because I've already been thinking about, like, four words down the line. But anyways, pack one here for Jerry. Alexander Wells. We got a pink. Christian Pache. 21, 21 of 100. Jack Lopez, rookie, rookie refractor, Diplon, Vidal Brujan. A lot of rookies in that pack. Gavin Sheets. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's nice. Five of five, Jackie Robinson. What is that, like a red lava? Is it magma? Or is it lava? The real question. 
Very nice. This is the box that tried to run away. Jackie Robinson, five of five. Very cool. I like this product. Fun. For one on card auto box, it's relatively and a chrome product, it's it's relatively affordable. Like it's not super expensive. It's not super cheap, but it's not super expensive. You get a lot of color. I mean, I am not someone that's the like, oh my goodness, I need to invest in the true rookie auto. I would prefer this over a box of regular chrome. But again, I'm not like a rookie. I need their I need their regular rookie auto kind of thing. Now you get rookie autos in here. I know it's not the one, but it's on card and it's chrome. I like it. This set's cool. I liked it last year. I like it this year. I imagine I'll like it next year, but we'll see. Craig Biggio. That's the second out of five card in this case. Which is crazy when you think about it. Two autos out of 25, an auto out of five, a base card out of five in the same case. Out of 25, Don Sutton, Orange Wave. Is Kermit big into baseball? I will say I don't know a whole lot about baseball, but I root for my local team. I don't like it when players on my local team do not very family-friendly things, though. So, yeah. All right, we're still waiting on an auto. Bob Gibson, Refractor. Ryan Valati, rookie, Connor Wong. Lars Nootbar, 22 of 99, Lou Gehrig, green. Nick Fortes. Josh Lowe. Uh, they're still, like, somewhere in this general vicinity. Shannon. They are still somewhere around here. I think they may even literally just be in this pile. Uh... Right here. Uh, also in this pile, we got some starter deck foils, some Opus 18, um, EHHY, Photon Hypernova Yu Gi Oh! Super Rares, uh, the Mox Sapphire. That pile be wild and out, bruh. The goose. We got Gold Wave, Harold Baines. 42 of 50. What is that pile for? Uh, well, aside from the goose. I don't know. I think the Mock Sapphire is something Bossman, like, auctioned on eBay, and I guess I didn't sell because I still have it. But the rest of it is... 
stuff that's like listed aside from the Otanis. So. Spencer Strider, Aqua is our auto of this box. 31 to 150. I'm for a let's goose emoji. That would be funny. Gary says that's the second Strider I pulled for you. Interesting. Tim Anderson, 63 of 299. These are Hernandez, is our X Fractor of this box. And last pack. Mark Bueller. Bueller. I. Mark. Refractor. All right, next box. Pack one. Zach Shorts. One seventy four out of what? One ninety nine. Dontrell Willis. Five stars is Burley. Thank you, five star. Four of 25, Trevor Rogers. Orange Wave. Zach Pop, Jim Bunning, Mackenzie Gore, Hans Krause, all right, we got five cards in here, Michael Brantley, we got six, actually we had six cards in here, two of 100. There's going to be like one empty pack in this box. Richie Ashburn. Castro, Enrique Hernandez, sixty of one hundred. Fergie Jenkins is our auto. I like these blue ones. They look so good. The blue prisms. 76 of 99. 
Alton Welker. Gold, Frank Thomas, 35 of 50. Nelson Cruz is our X Fractor. Melendez, Don Blue or Aqua, one twenty out of two ninety nine. Brian Hayes, Refractor. Nico Horner, Pink. 55 of 100 to wrap off box two. All right, third and final box. Last box of the case here for Jerry. All right, here we go, pack one. Edgar Martinez, 56 of 75. Duran, Ortega Rookie Refractor. Hummel, Veerling, Roger Maris, Blue, 17 of 199. German Marquez, Refractor. Luke Williams, Rookie. Josiah Gray, 56 of 75, Rookie. Asun Kim Refractor Auto, 15 of 199. Brandon Belt Refractor.
Gerard rookie. Cold Wave, Price, 44 of 50. J.P. Crawford, X-Fractor. Manny Machado, Jake Berger. An attendee pink ice or pink atomic twenty nine of one hundred. Ernie Clement Aparicio Refractor. Lindor Refractor. Lorenzo Kane Refractor. And final pack here for Jerry. Wrapping off with Zach Lothar. Alrighty, we didn't get any bonus autos this time around, but we should get some really nice cards here for Jerry. So let's take a look here. Some really, really tall piles. Really tall piles. We did have one X Fractor per box, lowest numbered parallel being numbered to five. JP Crawford, Nelson Cruz. Cesar Hernandez on our X Fractors for our autos. They're all numbered. Hassel Kim, 15 of 199. Fergie Jenkins, 76 of 99. And Spencer Strider, 31 of 150. Very awesome red Omega, as the cool kids say. Uh, Jackie Robinson, 5 of 5. And for all of our other color parallels, look at all those designs and colors. Not going to say the numberings on each of these because I can't remember them. There's a billion of them, and I don't want to flip them all over individually. But I'll read their names. Andrew Benatendi, Lou Fryatz, Josiah Gray, Roger Maris, Edgar Martinez, Nico Horner, Jonah Don, Frank Thomas, Enrique Hernandez, Michael Brantley, Trevor Rogers, Zach Shorts, Tim Anderson, Harold Baines, Lou Gehrig, Don Sutton, and Christian Pache. With that, let's wrap off these three boxes for Jerry. Jerry says, thanks so much, Allie. You're welcome, Jerry. Congrats on your Jackie Robinson and all of your other really nice spiffy-looking cards. All right, let me go ahead and unsnap, take a few trips, move all of this on out of the way. I want to come back for Jacob getting on into a hobby box of Marvel Beginnings. See if I could pull another Jumbo Redemption.
Alright, I'm back. Jacob says, I am here, by the way. Welcome. Alrighty, let's go ahead and update that queue number to seven here. Alright, so one hobby box of 2022 Marvel Beginnings Volume 2 Series 1. I'm assuming we'll get a Series 2 announcement at some point, but is a newer product. Came out not that long ago, although it is a 2022 technically release. But very excited to see what we find here for Jacob. You can get jumbo panel redemptions. You can get comic cuts. You can get sketch cards. You can get autographs in here. Really cool numbered parallels. Go ahead and hop on into it here for Jacob by snapping into the corner. And here we go. All right, pack one. We have Heimdall Red, Ant Man Blue, Wrecking Crew, Team Formations Insert, Jubilee, Danny Moonstar Black, Callisto, that is just the regular rainbow foil. We do have Modoc, illustration boards. I feel like that rumor's been around forever, Shannon. And, like, she looks the part, but she cannot act whatsoever. So I feel like that would be a really bad idea. Pepper Ponch, Jack-O-Lantern, Namor. You haven't seen those commercials season? In terms of Taylor Swift's acting experience, right? She's done uh, the Cats movie. And I've seen clips from that, and I wish I haven't. <laughs> Quicksilver. Taboo, Deep Lore, Ultimation developed inside the world. Doctor Strange, Musk, Shocker illustration board. Wendigo, Odin, Point in Time, Gore. Rogue, Spider-Man 2099, Silver Samurai, Flipped Effects. I haven't seen our hits of the box yet. Big Wheel, Kitty Pride, Quicksilver flipped, Sharon Carter, Taylor Swift, and Ted Salat's mm -hmm. Swamp Thing. Dupe! There's more dupe! Beating up the PC. 
Dupes coming for all you gamers. Y'all better watch out. Black cat. Profile. Danny Ketch. Spots, Killmonger, Illustration Boards, Odin. Red Guardian, Echo, Collective Man. All right, two packs left. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Fang Fang Foom, Beast, Infinity Gauntlet, Cosmic Alpha. All right, there better be something crazy in this last pack. All right, let's see. Uh, we have the Red Maker, Ulick, and we have Songbird Green. That is number 23 of 61. Did I miss something potentially? I did. Ah, okay. This Quicksilver was like a gray parallel. Okay. So we did find two numbered cards. That was in our 13 of 25. So we did get our two fancy schmancy cards of the box. I did miss it. All right. All righty. So we do have the... Green Rainbow Mirror World, 23 of 61 Songbird. And the Quicksilver, that is Flipped Effects Black, 13 of 25. At an angle, you can see it head on. They all look similar. All right, so we did, we did get the two numbered cards. So it's like one numbered card and then either another numbered card or a sketch or, 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 or. So we did get the two. Okay. All right. I got nervous. I was like, what the heck is going on? I really like this green color. It's a good green. Really nice green. I also like the devil dinosaur on top of the wrecking crew insert. That's a cool. I like dinosaurs. That's why I had dino nuggies for dinner. I'm an adult. All righty. So here's our two numbered parallels, Quicksilver and Songbird. Yeah, the Wrecking Crew, Infinity Gauntlets, Thor the God Butcher, two Deep Lore inserts. We had three unnumbered black parallels, two rainbows, three flipped effects, and three illustration boards. All righty, with that, that does wrap off this box here for Jacob. So thank you so much, Jacob, for letting me open on up some more Marvel for you here. Still can't believe how crazy similar this Quicksilver is to the base. I will say, in hand, it does look a bit different. But... On its own, it's maybe not the easiest to tell that it is a different color. In the stack, you could tell. Not so much on camera, but individually, it's a bit harder. All right, Quicksilver to 25, Songbird to 61 for our two fancy schmancy cards of the box. Again, thank you, Jacob, for letting me open these. I hope that you enjoyed it and are excited about your new additions to your collection. With that, that does wrap off break number seven. And I think I bamboozled the description. I did. We have two number seven, so I need to fix that. All right. I did. I wrote seven twice. So let me update the number numbers. We do have a total of 13 breaks tonight then, which is technically 12, though, because we had to postpone the draft. Alrighty, up next, we got some Final Fantasy. And 
Slime Volume 3 for Evan. So Evan, if you're here, make some noise. Your opening coming on up next. I don't know why I'm so hungry. I did find the box. I haven't opened it yet, Shannon. I will, though. I'm excited. <laughs> Dinosaurs. Excited for dinosaur cards. We do carry it. We have completely sold out of everything. I think Boss Man said except sleeves. We had a big event in store yesterday. I mean, all right, Evan, what would you like me to start off with? Slime or the fantasy of finals? Let me go ahead and update the queue number. Ikira, welcome. Final Fantasy, all right. Let me put those right there. All right, two boxes of Dawn of Heroes, two boxes of Slime Volume 3. Let's go ahead and hop on into break number eight by snap it into the corner. And let's get started. We needed all of it for the in-store event. Valkyrie, I believe 
Every single official Play Store in the country got the same amount of product, and it's not very much. So we didn't have any, like, extra to spare for the first wave. Hopefully the shop will be getting in more for that second wave a little later this year. All right, we got that Full Art Xenos promo. And pack number one. Oracle, Wicked Mask, Hero, Oops, that Xenos is rare, Sephiroth, Common Foil, Stinian, Legends, Gold skin, foil rare, ant lion. Love that deep bro. Flipper it. Shadow Dragon. Noctis, Hero Foil, number 128. Zack, Legend Foil, Unicorn Hero. Jill, Uriinger, uh, Full Art Assassin, is a Full Art of the Unicorn? Ooh, interesting. That would be pretty. Palum, Foil Rare, Yuna, Legends. And Jill JB, I love it, Foil Rare, and Kafka, Hero. His Twitch does not allow co-streaming with YouTube in particular. You can co-stream with like apps, but for like other it is it's pretty much the target co-streaming on YouTube and whatever that other thing's called, kick. I don't know. But cuz I know you can still stream on Twitch and TikTok. And whatnot actually just rolled out a feature that you can stream on Twitch and whatnot at the same time. Which, to me, I'm like, why? Because, like, you can't buy anything on Twitch, but obviously they're allowed to do that if they just introduce that feature within, like, the past two or three weeks. I was thinking maybe I would do that if I streamed from the computer. I want to stream more on Twitch. I want to... Because originally that's why I made that. That's my personal channel. And then I just had to use it for work stuff. Materia Hero. I'd like to actually use it for its intended purpose.
Fenrir, Hero Foil, Zach Legends. I think it's just like a reach thing. Or rare foil, Alice Hero, Mustinian Legend foil, Triple Camp Boats. Why not do for Alley Plays? I want to, it's just, you know, time thing. Once I get my. My little home office set up. My, my little bunk desk set up. I'm a computer at home. That's like the plan. Oh. But then also, I like streaming on YouTube. So then like, well, should I just stream on my channel? Or should I do both? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Cisne, Foil Rare, Mateus, Hero, Knight, and Chaos, Hero. I prefer YouTube than stream to YouTube, but I have this, I have... I have a, a decent sized Twitch account. Genesis, Rama, Hedgehog Five, Queenix. Ciaran, Fenrir, Hero, Melfi, Beldat, Yeah, I've been seeing it on other streams, though. YouTube's been having, like, chat issues. Hippocampos Hero Foil. Where it's like, chat kind of dies for a little bit, and then all of a sudden it comes back. But I don't know if y'all are just being quiet, or if it's having weird chat problems. Alinka, Spiritus, Luna Freya, and Lock EX Legends. Scout two dollar super chat says, "So glad I got into Final Fantasy collecting." I'm glad that you really like it. Every new person that I introduce to Final Fantasy, I feel accomplished because the cards are so nice. I don't understand how it's not more popular. Ziggy's playing Holocure. I haven't played Holocure yet. I bookmarked it on Steam. And then I haven't downloaded it yet. Well, thank you so much for that super chat, Scott. Mist, the goddess, Nahalem, Shadow Dragon. Shimozobe says, I wish Wise, uh, Final Fantasy, Dragon Ball, and Digimon were bigger. 
I'm doing my part on two of those. I'm doing my part. Mateus. Here's playing Genshin Impact. Ziggy, have you gotten any golden fish yet? From Melda. Tifa Legends. What places are running Final Fantasy tournaments? There is a cup going on, I think, in northwestern United States uh, this weekend. They had big events in North Carolina last month. Final Fantasy Pro Tour. The Materia Cups. Have you gotten two? Nice. Did you get your trophies? Grahatia. Armorer, Materia. One thing that I like that Final Fantasy is doing, I'm not sure if you guys saw the announcement for the Anniversary Collection 2023. And in that, like, the, we opened up the last Anniversary Collection, um, and there are, like, it's a, like a reprint set with, like, some cool full arts. And... Like, they're reprinting, like, a lot of the really expensive cards from Opus 14 that were, like, $40 for Legends. Which is cool. So it makes the game, like, actually, like, more playable. So hopefully Opus 14 will come down a bit, and then I can get some. And we can all open packs together. Cecil, Hero Foil, Calbrano. Full art, full art, Yuna, full art. Nice, beautiful. Orin. Mari, Xenos, Alice, Foil Hero, Noctis, And Edge, Legend Foil. Fat Chocobo. Fat Chomp. What? That says Ali wants more Final Fantasy boxes so she can take all my money. I just want more Final Fantasy boxes to take my money as well. All right. Here we go, box two. Here for Evan. You have Xenos. Promo. All right, pack one. Angel Chibi Unicorn Good night, Daniel. Take care, Oracle. 
edge. Kafka Hero, the Ryanger. Juggler, Rufus Shinra. Beldat. My question, Acorn, why why are all the Final Fantasy 14 characters French? Why are they French? Evan says, I almost got a master case of this set, but the wife said no. <laughs> Noctis, Chaos, right, Alfno, Orange. I'm just going to start calling them orange juice. Only the elves are French. Why? Why? Still skin, rare foil, number 128. I wonder where we'll find a cloud or a stinian first. I wonder if I'll pull it or the shop will pull it. This is my question. Which one of us is going to find it? I mean, either way, it'll be me, right? But. Full art, full art, full art, full art, full art, Fenrir. Cool. Got a big, a big little, little wolfy boy. Lucian says, because the elves needed to be snootier. <laughs> Eat Mira the free Tiro foil Kafka. Zeno's Legend Foil, Genova Dreamweaver. Forum, Materia. Barrett EX, Shadow Dragon. Behemoth, Cecil Legend. Blue Goo, Calbrena, Ziggy, have you watched any more Bijou?
Fisher, Rahatia, Shadow Dragon, Hero Foil, Zack Legend. Weaver, Antlion. Yeah, I loved watching that. That was great. There were so many memes that I forgot about that I remembered watching that stream. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that full art. Hero full art. Ooh, two hero full arts in this box. Fat chocobo. Not fat chocobo. <laughs> Dragoon and Noctis. Rama. Fat. Mira, Legend Foil. She started at a little before we started. I don't know if she'll still be on when I'm done, but yeah, she's playing Elden Ring. All of Advent played Apex yesterday. I didn't watch it, but I watched like a meme video. Bijou's good at games. I also can't get into Fuamoko. I just, it's too loud for me. Mont Blanc, Blanc EX, it's a legend, right? Yep. Vagrants has bought a three pack blister of Obsidian Flames on Amazon. Not here yet, hoping to get that $100 Charizard. My mom got one pack at Target and pulled the gold Charizard. <laughs> Setzer, Spiritus. I bought four of the Whooper blisters because I'm a degenerate. I haven't seen any more outside of where I originally bought them. No, she just grabbed one. She's like, I was just, I want to open something. She's like, oh, that pack. She thought she saw the, like, she heard of the new Charizard and she saw the Charizard pack art. She's like, this looks cool. Let me buy one. And I came home from work the other night and she brought out the pack. Like, she put it back in the pack. She's like, look at this, look at this. Look. I'm like, what is it? I'm like, oh, you got the Charizard. She's like, is that the one? I'm like, it's not the one, but it's the second Zard. Ooh, we have a token. Cool. The bonus Jonas of the box. 
New Hero Full Arts and Crystal Token. What is that? Spirages? What? But, oh, what, pff, bro. W what? Four fours? Evan, can I have your second Angeal Chibi foil? You got two. You got one in each box. Can I have the second one? Ghost, common foil, Yuna. Arden, foil rare, unicorn. I can, thank you. Thank you. All right, every, it's because of where my thumb is, I'm like, is that another full art? But all right, no, we only had four full arts in this box. All, only we had four. But thank you, Evan. I appreciate it. Let me make sure that I'm not just lying to you. One, two, hold on. And yo, so cute. I gotta sleeve up my bird from Georgie. You got any whoopers? Do you want me to mail them to you? I mean, the the stamp would cost more than the whoopers, Acorn, but if you feel so inclined, I would definitely accept them. Alrighty! Fruitful boxes here, although we didn't find that Astinian. Did find a lot of really sweet cards here. Or Evans. Let me tidy up. Recap our Final Fantasy. Don't forget, we also have two boxes of slime. But let's take a look at our legend foils. Did have five across the two boxes. Zach, Stinian, Edge, Xenos, and Mira. And for our full arts, we had one legend, three heroes, one common, and one token. We had the lightning token, I think. Assassin, Spiritus, Sassel, Fenrir, and Yuna. And of course, we did have the two Xenos promos. Georgie says, Kaikar will escape his plastic prison by tomorrow. That would actually be very scary if I come in tomorrow to do mail and he's just like right here on sleeve, just waiting for me. Good night, Scott. Take care. Very nice. I can't believe we had four in box two. You know, sometimes we see three with the token. And we're like, okay, a little token bonus. But I've never seen four. That's crazy. Am I going to rainbow the goose card? No. I'm just going to keep the one goose and he's going to judge me. Jedi Hunter Deep says, he gave you the bird alley. I know. My heart. It's also a Goose Hydra card. Interesting. All right, let's get into some slime. I've decided to become a demon lord on the stage of Y Shorts as well. All right, achieving a victory with everyone. Rimuru is our first promo. All right, let's get cracking. Crack, crack. Who's dear friends? Rimuru, double R. Or uh, regular rare, excuse me. Getting ahead of myself. Heart pounding introduction, Veldora.
our out of this world Millum. Loyal Servant Diablo. And I've been wondering this in Slime Volume 1, but why doesn't Millum wear clothes? I'm assuming because she's a demon is the answer, but I want to know why. Like, well, Allie, don't be silly. Demons don't wear pants or something. I'm assuming is going to be the answer, but... Ooh, shiny, 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 shiny. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Rimuru, all piercing light, SP. I've pulled a lot of SPs out of slime this week. This is what, the fourth SP I pulled out of a slime set this week? Rimuru, all piercing light. Quiet anger, Shuna. Sir, get in the top. Okay, never mind. Double R, delightfully embarrassed. According to strategy. Heart pounding cooking, Shion. Ooh, what's this? Delightfully embarrassed, Rimuru, SR. Magnificent transformation, Luminous. I was thinking of starting to carry, because we don't carry Japanese weiss at the shop. I was thinking maybe I'd start doing some Japanese weiss. Would that be interesting to you all? Pressured decision, Millum. Operation Dress Up, Rimuru. Like, do y'all want Dengeki Bunko in like a couple weeks? Calamity Destroying Black Flame, Benny Maru. Friendship Transcending Time, Rimuru. The problem with the, that kind of Bunko set, I would not know who most of the people are. I know a few, like, I know Toradoras in the Dengeki. But looking at the rest of it, I'm like, I don't know what this is. Be a little bit of a struggle. I have to break out the rusty Japanese. Because I currently have, like, Japanese Pokemon a little bit. I don't have any Japanese Weiss yet. New Journey, Rimuru, Rare. I thought it was Torador's in the Dengeki, yeah. From Friendship, Veldora. Let me see. Dengeki, Bunko. Weiss. Uh, do, do, do. List of work scheduled. Yep, Toda Dora. All right, here's the full list of stuff inside. Thank you. I recognize Spice and Wolf too. Uh, there's some of these titles I don't want to read. So, Spice and Wolf, Spice and Wolf sequel, Bacano, da 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 da, Toda Dora, um, Sword Art, Axel World. 
a bunch of sus titles. Gungale, C Cube, whatever that is. Yeah, I wasn't going to read that one. In a dire situation, Shion. Alrighty. SR and SB from box one. Go ahead and hop on into box number two. Request for a try on, Shuna. Three point one four per cent hope, Rimuru. To the strong Benny Maru. New journey, Rimuru. Awakening of a true demon lord. <laughs> SR. Sudden request, Shuna. Shuna, come back. Don't run away. Why are you running? I can just hear Bijou saying, Why are you running? In my head. Uh, I've watched too much. Ho I've consumed too much Hollow Live content within the past two weeks. It's like actually a problem. The problem, it's also a problem because there's literally one of them streaming at all times. Like, at all times, you can find one of them live. Heart pounding cooking, Shion. Friendship Transcending Time, Rimuru. Still released, Veldora. Heart Pounding Instruction, Veldora. Good Stupid or Bad Stupid, Kimosobe? In a funny way? Okay. Looks like another SR. We have Irrevocable Regret. Rimuru. Quadruple Rimuru foil here for Evan. Three SRs and an SP. But two for two on two foil boxes. Good. Bodyguard in the Shadow, Ranga. I think Wise can do anything special for the huge sets coming up. What do you mean by like special? All right, out of this world, Millum. Treasure place to return to, Soe. Awakening of a true demon lord. The 
<laughs> that sounds actually funny. So the main character is an angel, or she the main female character is an angel, and she just kills the main guy and revives him all the time. Serialized cards, special foils, more SSPs. I don't think so, right? Because they're going to match the Japanese set. I don't think so. I mean, I don't really feel like there's anything they can do. Fallman collected swords, woman. Hinata. Alrighty. Hinata wraps off. I would love a Naruto set, by the way. That'd be so cool. Can you imagine if we got, like, a Naruto set? I mean, I know there's been Naruto games before, but, like, a different Naruto. We still got Spy Family, although Spy Family's licensed to somebody else. So, we'll see. You never know. Let's take a look at what we found here. Pan through our double R's first. And, all right, let's take a look. All Piercing Light, Rimuru, SP. Delightfully Embarrassed, Rimuru. Awakening of a True Demon Lord, Rimuru. And Irrevocable Regret, Rimuru. Evan, let me know if I can open up your promos, by the way. These and the Xenos as well. Request for a try on Shuna and achieving victory with everyone, Rimuru. Thank you so much, Evan, for letting me open up not only some Final Fantasy, but also some more wise for you here on the channel. Really hope that you enjoyed it and love these new additions to your collection. Now, nice to see an SP here, and we're hoping to continue seeing SPs and an SSP perhaps even tonight as we move on into some Hollow Knight Volume 2. Out of this case, we have found two SPs out of four. We have not seen the SSP yet. So two boxes for Kevin, two boxes for Jimmy a little bit later. And then a handful of boxes remaining. I don't remember exactly how many. But I'm doing my best to keep track as long as I can remember on what we have found. All right. Now we'll look into getting some Japanese Weiss for you guys. And more Japanese Pokemon would be fun too. Mizobi says, I wonder if Dengeki Bunko would come to English. Yeah. I feel like nowadays any kind of Bunko release is probably not going to happen, but you just never know. You just never know. Kevin says, Choco SSP? Or Marine? Your Suisse? Oh, Ziggy, what'd you end up doing with your Suisse? I'm nosy. All right, with that, that does wrap off break number eight. So a few trips to take everything out of the way, and then I'll be back for Kevin's boxes of Hollow Live 2. Kevin, are you familiar with Advent? I can maybe I can stop harassing Ziggy while Ziggy plays Hollow Pure and bother you instead. Since you have to watch your break. Mizobi says, I feel like it depends on what the cards are like, because they can alter or remove a card or two for English, but they won't replace the entire set. Unless it becomes... Unless it's something extremely popular. Like, they are, well, they had to censor so many cards in No Game, No Life. But... It was, like, the hottest thing at the time. They could not bring it over. A lot of the titles in Degeki Bunko are not, I mean, outside of Sword Art, right? And, like, there's a lot of stuff that even I've heard of, but I've heard of them because I remember when I was in middle school, that was what was popular. <laughs> so I don't know, like, what the pull on Degeki Bunko would be if it would be worth it for them to have to, like, remake so many cards. 
Because I'm imagining, usually there's a lot of sus stuff in Bunko's house. There's like some really, like, like Sneaker Bunko has like freaking Haruhi in it. Which is like, oh, it's the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. And then it's like, oh, there's naked girls in here. You look up Sneaker Bunko and the first card's already sus. Sneaker Bunko is insane. BGS no longer grades Sneaker Bunko cards because they're too inappropriate. If grading companies refuse to grade a portion of your set because it's explicit, that it's probably not getting published in a in the United States. All right, let's go ahead and update that queue number to nine. I don't know what series they're from. The ones. Let me look up which ones that I know are not gradable. There are some ones graded out there, but I also, oh my goodness, it's five, so like $180 a box. Uh, even, that even got reprinted. But, but, um. I knew someone who sent off the, um. What character is this? I don't know, but the girl with the purple hair, and it got sent back, <laughs> ungraded. The purple SR. But yeah, it's crazy looking at the triple R's, and then there's the one blue-haired girl, and the red-haired girl, and then just the, the cute lady from uh, Haruhi the Alien or whatever. It's wild. Wild. Ingram says some big female only fans slash streamers have their own trading cards now. I know. Leaf makes them. Leaf makes them. Anyways, Ms. Lewis can't say I'm surprised. Alrighty. 
I've updated the queue number. Let's go ahead and check out some Hololive. <laughs> Hololive Production Volume 2. Now that I know more about a lot of these characters since the last time I opened up the set, which was Sunday, I'm going to enjoy it even more. So let's go ahead and hop on into it here for Kevin by snapping into the corner. Don't do it, Kimo Sobe. Don't look. Don't look, no spoilers, you're so close. You're like two months away. You've managed to hold off this long. Don't look. All right, we have Shirakami's secret base. Kabuki promo. Mume. Molly, double R. Flair, rare. All right, first of three foils here we have Iris, SR. Nene, rare. I think Iris had her first 3D performance today. Something like that. Yep, Henry Q is closed. Suisse, rare. Mio, double R. Caillou. Hina. Ayame, double R. Choco. Koyori. Shion. Aki Rose. Kiara. Anya. Next foil we have. I'll be your opponent, Roboko san. Roboko san with glasses! Iroha. Glasses, justice! Soda. Gira. Aqua. Last up for this box, we have Step Towards the Future, Noel. Yoffi. I don't know why 
I thought Yaffe was like a bunny. Because I guess her headband I thought was bunny ears. She's not a bunny. She's like an alien. I'm like, oh, okay. I was like, oops. I thought you were a rabbit. Rabokal san. Right, box two. We do have gelato for you. Mel. We do have Secret Society, SR, check it off, Double R Meal, Rene, Ronnie. Noel. Aki Rose. We have Boss, Ayame, SR, Boogie, Rare, Good up. I have fallen so far down the rabbit hole, I bought a Gura statue this week. Cute though. And then I wait for 15 seconds to pass so chat can judge me. Muna. Yoffie, Henry says you should start doing Sunday lives too. I do Sunday lives, but no one, no one cares about me, Henry. Me. I got the girl pop up and I got a Cali pop up. No pop up room. They do look good. That's why I was like, oh, I want them. There's some, like, I saw online on Ami Ami too. It's sold out in pre-orders, but there's, like, a big Gura statue. And by big, I mean, like, not cheap. But not super expensive either. So I'll keep my, I put on my wish list. Ollie. Now, my question is, some of the Indonesian members, some of them follow, like, the Japanese naming pattern, some of them don't. And I was surprised by that. Because, like, even on these cards, they put Watson Amelia. 
Like, they don't put Amelia Watson. They don't flip it. But then, like, why is... Why did they flip Muna and Anya's cards? They didn't do Ollie's. I'm con I'm confused. Perhaps Ziggy or Kevin can assist me. On whatnot, Henry. I don't know how I would sell stuff. I know some people do, like, YouTube breaks. And then I guess people just send, like, via PayPal. Like, write a little menu out and send via PayPal. Once I set up my home office, maybe I can do stuff like that, but... For now, I just have whatnot. Apple. Ayame. Luna. Ooh, what do we have? Come on, SP, SP, please. Ah, man. Fubuki SR. Oh. All SR'd out here once again. Poor Kevin. I don't even think we saw a Choco Foil this time. They get some lovely ladies, but no SP, no SSP in these two boxes. Go ahead and sleeve up the Fubuki. Alrighty. Take a look at our six SRs here. Step towards the future, Iris. Step towards the future, Noel. Step towards the future, Fubuki. And then we had I'll be your opponent for Boko-san. Perfect or Secret Society, Hollow X, and Boss Ayame. Ziggy says, "Don't know for sure. My guess would be they just uh, prefer one over the other." I just, I don't, I thought they all flipped them, so I was calling, like, the one, Anya, I was calling her Melfisa, I was calling Muna Hoshinova, and then I was actually watching them, and I was like, wait, no, that, they don't say that. <laughs> but, like, because they, they even flipped Ame. And, and Kali. And Gura. And Kiara. So I was like, why, some of the Indonesian ones are not flipped. I was just confused. I didn't know if, like... Uh, uh, uh. I don't know if that was, like, Bushiro did that by mistake or what, but... Also, for our promos, we have a gelato for you. Shikakami's secret base. And for our double R's. And through them. This meal card's on the up and up because someone bought us out of all we had from both cases earlier this week. Is super pretty. I like the cat stack. Well, that's also the two girls here. The girl is a nice double R as well. So not bad pulls here. Nothing crazy, but not bad here in these two boxes for Kevin. So thank you so much, Kevin, for letting me open on up these boxes for you. Really hope that you enjoyed it and love these new additions to your collection. I'm in need of more 180 point top loaders. I will grab some. Hopefully, me grabbing 180 points off stream again doesn't cause power failure. Because I was gra I opened as soon as I'd open up the pack of 180s in the shipping room last week is when the power went out. It was very awkward. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. But let me go ahead and move. Well, first I have to unsnap. I'm free of my corner. Let me go ahead and move all of this one out of the way. And then when I come back, we do have Star Wars flagship for Joseph D. Hang tight, everyone. I'll be right back.
All right. I don't remember the username. Oh, man. I feel like I haven't seen their name pop up in a while. I remember it was all caps. Why should do an English only set for My Little Pony? Ugh. Why would you speak that into the world? Ugh. Because you'd buy it? Of course you would. Japanese wise cases have 18 boxes, right? Yeah, there are the magic and my little pony cards. Let's go ahead and update that queue number to 10. Hopefully Joseph will come back. Be able to check out the break. We do have another Hami box here of 2023 Top Star Wars flagship. I have actually been really enjoying this. I wish we saw hits more often, but we are getting some pretty rare pulls, even when we're not finding autographs. I like that we're finding a few numbered cards. I like those unnumbered short prints. I, I like the design of it to begin with, and I also like its pretty cheap price point. So, let's go ahead and hop on into it. Uh, it's a little squished, but there's no cards up there where it is. There's a bunch of free space. Because the problem is, is these, they're very, it's very flimsy material. So like, this is from me taking them out of the case. Because there is no nothing inside it here. Because they are they are jam packed into the case. It's actually quite ridiculous. They all have to an extent because that's just where you pick it up. But yeah, it's yes, it's a little squishy up here. But there's you'll see once we take the shrink wrap off. Tops using flimsy material. I'm shocked. I know, right? All right, let's go ahead and get on into this here for Joseph D. Bye. Snap it into the corner, and here we go. But yeah, the packaging is very odd. Let's see. There's there's nothing going on there. That 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 finally. It actually is not really you can't really bend it far down enough to touch the uh touch the wide vision. Yeah, this is a very, this is a very soft, right? It's not quite like a regular paper, but it is thinner than cardstock. 
And cardstock as in, like, not cards. Like, construction paper cardstock. Anyways, we have our giant wide vision. Extract our pack of Roonies. All right, let's check out our exclusive wide vision. I wish I knew what was going on in Tops' brain, Acorn. We do have Mandalorian DW9. Ooh, that's cool. I like the wide vision cards. I just wish they weren't wide vision, you know? I just wish they were, like, easy to, like, store and collect. They're just huge and obnoxious like me but like anything high value to get in the wide vision i mean it's just a 40 card set i think it's just straight up a 40 card set prism that was that was postponed because it did not fill so i'm not here next weekend i'll be out of town uh so we moved it to the second so some time to uh join in on that still some some time good good bit of time axe woes rainbow foil off location lando comic cover moncala Aunt Baru, comic cover. Darth Maul, lightsaber insert. Boba Fett, Navarro. I mean, I get why they did it. To me, this set strikes a really good balance between like price point as well and design character selection it strikes a really good even literally packaging between hardcore collector that enjoys star wars and kids like i feel like it really is because like We've been enjoying it. We like the design. We like the inserts. They're fun. It's cheap. It's cool for collectors, but also it's really appealing to like families and kids. I know as I would have gone nuts, this would have been my favorite thing. Be like, mom, can I have the giant Star Wars box? Because I want the, the cool wide vision. Right, you got some funky short prints. You can still pull like autographs and stuff, you know? Yoda. It strikes that really good balance, I think, with the wide vision. Mace Windu. Epic Clashes. Obi-Wan versus Grievous. I think adults across the board, like, pretty much hate non-standard size cards, but kids love jumbo cards. Pokemon, you know, Pokemon still makes them, right? Because they appeal to people. Like, giant cards. I like the giant Pokemon cards. Kids love jumbo cards. I will say I was surprised um, when I, because I knew there was a wide vision card in this set. I didn't realize it wasn't wide vision. This is larger than Star Wars wide vision. We have Ezra, lightsaber. Padme Rainbow.
flashes, Mustafar. In the wide vision card to get graded. Oh my goodness. Obi Wan, lightsabers. Babu, comic cover. Does Ginter still give? It depends. Ginter has like a few different box toppers. Right? There's the, um, there's the cabinet cards, and then there's the jumbo rip cards, and then there's the other weird, not quite card size, but slightly larger ones. Ginter has an array of assorted weird sized box toppers. Mustafar. Stewards! Kit Fisto. Ooh, two of them. Kanan and Kit Fisto. Jetta. C-3PO, that is the white border parallel. Luke versus Vader, Star Killer base. Ginter has small cards, big cards, weird cards, whatever you want, pretty much. They need more baby animals. That's what Ginter needs. I remember one year Ginter had like some like flower insert that you could like actually plant and it like grew a flower. It was like a seed in a card. <laughs> like what? Obi Wan. Comic cover. Alright, we haven't found anything numbered yet. Great. Our Vader cover. Grand Inquisitor. Dinosaur relics, rip cards. I know, all kinds of stuff. I will say, the Captain Phasma comic series was really good. If you guys haven't read it, it's pretty fun. Well... Oh. Good, I liked it. I recommend it. Felucia. Anakin versus Count Dooku. Kill him. Kill him now. Ahsoka. Lieutenant Supervisor Blevin. Sereno, comment cover, Chewy. Where's the number cards here? Colonel Grievous, Sully, Coruscant, we have a green in here, Valsartha, 142 of 499. Obi-Wan versus Vader. Alderaan. I mean, I know it's the field Tops is going for, but this reminds me of like a top series one baseball with fewer inserts. All right, it's Star Wars flagship. That's the point. Tops flagship baseball of series one, series two update. I love Grogu. I love this BB-8 card. Like, so much. I An unreasonable amount, the motion blur BB-8 card is great. Poe Comics. The Sheik. Major Partags. Partagaz. Orange. 295 of 299. Flashes. Kylo versus Praetorians.
Vader. Grand Inquisitor. Octo without Porgs. Somehow. And the last pack. We do have Ray versus the Praetorians in a Darth Vader comic cover. Alrighty, so pretty standard box here. We had the white border variation and two numbered parallels here for Joseph. So let's take a look. We did have the C3PO, number 11. We had Valsartha, 142 of, a, of 499, or number 61. And Major Portugaz, 295 out of 299, number 77. And for our rainbow foils, didn't we find a Padme? We did. I want to sleeve that one up too. That one's nice. I like the way the rainbows look. The uh, the silver foils. And for the oversized wide vision card, we did have the Mando versus the Armorer. Looking pretty cool. Well, that's let's wrap off this box here for Joseph. So thank you so much, Joseph, for letting me open on up some Star Wars for you here. Hope it was worth the wait. Hope that you enjoyed the opening. And love these new additions to your collection. All right. Let me go ahead and unsnap. Move everything on out of the way. When I come back, you have two more boxes of Hollow Live Volume 2. And this will be for Jimmy C. All right. Hang tight. Two trips. And then I'll be back.
All right, I'm back. Right. Update that queue number to eleven here. Getting on into two boxes of Hollow Live for Jimmy C. So Jimmy, if you're here, make some noise. Boop, 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 boop. That was my example of noise. You guys are wondering, Allie, what the heck was that? I like Taco Bell open. I have been extremely hungry this week. I don't know why. Might be a Taco Bell night. We'll see. No righty. Two boxes. Still hunting. Two SPs. One SSP in this case. It's crazy. First three boxes of the case yielded two SPs, and we haven't seen any since. It's been a little while. Will Jimmy break our drought here? Let's go ahead and hop on into it and find out. Bye. Snip snapping into the corner. All right, here we go. We have a Cali promo. I've never had a crunch wrap. Michael says I am cool. Thank you. I aspire to be cool. I'm glad that I achieve it on occasion. All right, here we go. Ame. Starting off shiny, we have famous producer Watame. Check it off. Koa, double R. Miko. Tabuki. I hope we get the JoJo boosters. The English. I hope we get them. I imagine they would sell well. No live next Saturday, Henry, unless Bossman decides to go live, which I don't expect, but never, never know. Ronnie. Anata, Luna, we have Chloe, SR, Bay, yes. I haven't finished. No, I, I haven't finished it. Lamy, double R. Rene. I still, I got like halfway through Golden Wind and then I just haven't been able to finish since. So it's not like I have that much more to watch. I've watched more than I have not watched. And fishing for the bo the pond's boss monster, Mule. 
उन्होंने पता में एज की कैली डबल आर लुई Mel, Chloe, Fauna, Noel. Finishes off box one. You recommend seasons three, five, and six? Yeah, I made it halfway through five, and I haven't seen any of six yet. I liked season four. I liked Diamond is Unbreakable. I will say, I wasn't super crazy about the original original series but i was like i heard there's a lot of memes so i kept going through it and it, it did get better as it went on only two of us at the beach muna double r button Aski, Hekra, Risu, Fauna. You have Noel SR for our first foil of box two. Taking a bath with you. With me? Moments of relaxation, Iris. Shiny, what do we got? We have Coyote, always by your side. Marine. Ame. Noel Darkness Vicky.
smell. Subaru double R. Rene. Crony. This is our last foil of the box, I think. We do have Step Towards the Future Choco. Yep, this is our sixth and final SR. Choco. It's B. All right, so that still means that two SPs and the SSP are out there hiding. How many boxes are left? check. I'm curious how many boxes are left in this case. The last pack here for Jimmy. We do have Corone. Alrighty. I will say something since getting into Hollow Life that I've noticed that I've been shocked by. I guess it's not maybe necessarily something I've noticed, but looking at the characters and then hearing their voices I would say for the majority of them are not what I would have expected. Not that that's bad, of course. I just... it When I look at these cards and pictured, like, what they would sound like in my head, it's not what they actually sound like. For, like, all of them. I think. Alrighty. Go ahead and get into our recap here. Take a look at our double R's first. And through them all, pretty decent variety, I think, across the boxes. Yeah. Don't know that we actually got any duplicates here. Pretty good, pretty good. I think all we were missing was the Duda. And the Ayame, I think. Yeah, I think all we missed out of the full set would have been the Gura and the Ayame there. A nice variety on the double R's. And for our SR's, we did have Step Towards the Future, Chloe. Step Towards the Future, Choco. Koyori, Always By Your Side. Noelle, Taking a Path. Fishing for the Pond's Boss Monster, Mule. And famous producer, Watame. Oh, we were also missing the Mule. So then there was probably... I think there might be 14 double R's in this set. As opposed to 12. There's 16! Wow! Missing even more than I thought. But no repeats there in the 10, so not bad. Yeah, the Chloe promo. And the Kelly promo as well. Alrighty, with that... That does wrap up our Weiss here tonight. Up next, we got some Star Wars, and then we'll be closing out the stream with some Marvel. So thank you so much, Jimmy, for letting me open on up some Weiss for you. Really hope that you enjoyed it and love these new additions to your collection. All right, let me go ahead and unstop. Move this all on out of the way. When I come back, we got two Star Wars flagship hobby boxes for Thomas K. Here, here, make some noise. Your box is coming up next.
All right. I'm back. Thomas is here. Henry says, not much sports tonight. We did open up six boxes of Topps Chrome Anniversary. We got some really nice stuff earlier. But yeah, it's been a bit light on sports as of late. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and update that queue number to 12. Excited to get on into some more of this flagship set. Hopefully we can see another auto. We haven't seen one since that first box we opened last week. Hopefully we see some more numbered parallels as well. I don't think we've seen anything lower numbered out of the base cards than like 99. We did have that out of 25 insert earlier, but would be crazy to find like a one-on-one. That'd be cool. Alrighty, here for Thomas. Let's go ahead and hop on into these two boxes by Snap it into the corner. And here we go. Shannon says, I regret not picking up any Weiss Persona 4 cards when it was released. Yeah, I imagine that set's quite expensive. <laughs> I know the Persona 5 set's really expensive nowadays. We actually had like one box hanging out forever and I had sold it on a live stream way back when. It was just sitting in the background and someone bought it and it had some sort of SP in it. Just like that card captor box that was sitting on the shelf for two years literally had the most expensive card in it. it had a Sakura Seeker error. Crazy. You never know what might be hiding. But then again, you're right, the odds are against you. All right, there's our giant wide vision. Extract our packs. Are they remaking Persona 4 or Persona 3? I don't remember. All right, let's start off with our big old jumbo card. Jumbo, jumbo, jumbo. No escape, DW18. Oh, that's when Vader holds back the, um, the thing, right? Yeah, this was a cool scene. There was, you know, like the Obi-Wan show was definitely not as good as it could have been. But the highlights of that show were just so high. And then the low lights of that show were just so low. But there, there's a lot of really great scenes. There's a lot of really great scenes. All right, starting off, Ezra. Unfortunately, it looks like we're having, we had this box earlier for Sinove and Rezekai where a lot of the inserts were just not in great shape. Thomas, if you'd like me to keep like a pack wrapper and like the box code for you to try and say, hey, Top, send me some nicer condition cards. I can definitely include that in your package. Totally up to you though. That prints, like, the form and everything you need. Everything you need except for, like, the actual shipping label. But I'm not sure if it would be worth it for base insert. You know, that's the thing, right? You gotta pay to send it to Tops for them to send you something back. Uh, Epic Clashes, Luke versus Kylo. Comic cover, Poe. I read, like, the first several issues of the Poe comic, and I liked it. The, the issue with Poe... That'd be great. All right, sure thing, no problem. Let me actually get the box code now while I remember. The damage forms, they need the box, and they'll need like this thing. It's weird. Autos fall not very often. There's no guaranteed hit. Okay, that's the offset of this product being quite cheap. Is there is not a guaranteed hit. We have typically found some sort of like short print though. I'll cut out the UPC. I don't know if we need the UPC. It's weird because the um the missing hit and the damage hit requirements are slightly different. 
left. But just in case, I will give you all of this. The pack wrapper, the UPC code, and the box code. And then I'll print out your receipt. And then the form. Let me actually check in case Tops changed it on me again. Tops, damage cards. Where can I send damage cards for replacements? Actually, it looks like it's weird. I always thought it was weird that to, that the Tops website had a thing. Whereas Panini, you you just requested a ticket in your account. Um, Thomas, if you have a Tops account, can you uh, check that link? I don't. I'm assuming you'll need the same things, but just in case it says you need more than what I am going to be providing, let me know. Zori Blitz and Scarab. So far, it's just been the one insert, but we'll see. We have a Poe, white border. Comic cover, Clashes, Yoda versus Darth Sidious. Qui-Gon. Lightsabers. Vetch. Coil, Mandalore, Darth Vader comic cover, and Death Star location. Moff Gideon. Nine Num and Ahsoka versus the Magistrate. What are the boy border parallels called in this set? Can't seem to find them. I think they're like an unannounced variation. I've seen some people say image variation, some people say white parallel, some people say short print. I'm pretty sure it was like a random unannounced thing. They look cool though. I do think they have different pictures. Dagobah and Ryloth. Ray. Saw Guerrera. Another little cornered insert. Mace Windu versus Palpatine. I love this BB-8 card so much. I'm going to try and find one on eBay and buy it. I just love him. He's speed running. Obi-Wan versus Dooku. Jakku. I want to rainbow that BB-8 card. I shouldn't, but I want, I want to. He's zooming. Lieutenant Gorn. What? There's Gorns in Star Wars. I thought Gorns were Star Trek. I thought the Star Wars Gorn was a Trandoshan. Ooh, I think I saw some purpley. What is that? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh what's this? Major Partagas. Uh, 35 of 99 purple. Flashes, Obi-Wan versus Anakin. That was also a really cool scene. You can see Anakin's a little angry boy. All of the Anakin Obi-Wan stuff was great. The rest of the show, not as great. I still enjoyed it, though. It was fun. Just didn't feel necessarily Star Wars caliber. I need to watch Andor. I feel like Andor would be something I really, really like. I just haven't done it. EV99, electric vehicle. Oh my goodness, this Tatooine got chewed on. What the heck? Who would win in a fight, BB-8 or RTD2? Um, 
As much as I want BB-8 to win, R2-D2 is 100% winning. Right, so the hierarchy would be... Um, so, like, C-3PO would be at the bottom. I'm pretty sure... C-3PO could beat Dio, but that's because Dio is, like, depressed. Like, if you're a depressed, small, tiny robot, I feel like you're not going to do much. So, Dio at the bottom, and then C-3PO, and then BB-8, and then R2, and then Chopper would win all of the fights. But R2-D2 can real probably kick a lot of people's asses, too. bb 8 smart, but I don't think BB-8 can outdo R2. But like I said, Chopper just beats everybody. So that's our robot fighting tier list. Or er, sorry, sorry, Astromech droid fighting tier list for main characters. It's a cool Lando comic cover. Obi Wan versus Maul. Emma says, not even a big Star Wars fan. Andor was great. Thomas said, I went into it thinking I would hate it, and it was actually pretty good. And it says, C-3PO, talk your ear off. That counts as a win. I guess if dying of boredom counts as a win, C-3PO might win. But I don't think C-3PO... I mean, obviously R2 is still around, right? So, like, R2 still beat 3PO by proof of R2's existence. Chopper's killed millions of people. So I bet Chopper just is not even involved in this petty squabble. I think BB-8 can beat up C-3PO. Now Hata, Obi-Wan comic cover. Lucian says, when I buy the Star Wars franchise, I'm making a trilogy about a B-1 that becomes a Jedi. I will be first in line to watch your your trilogy, Lucian. I like it. Hera. Star Wars cover. Mando versus Moff Gideon. Poe. Kanan, lightsaber. Luthan, rainbow, Lafal. I will say I'm surprised there's no, like, Thrawn cards in here. That I've seen. I haven't seen a Thrawn base card. There's no Thrawn comic covers, unfortunately. There's some really great art for that series. That Chewbacca's beat up. Holy cow. Holy cow. R.I.P. Chewie. Uh, Lieutenant Reed. Green. 339 out of 499. Flashes. And that Chewie. Yeah, definitely inserts. Thankfully, none of, like, the numbered parallels or SPs have had issues, but the inserts are getting roughed up. It's weird because all the lightsabers are fine. It's just the regular-sized inserts. It's not even all of them. I don't know how it happened. If it was, like... Because it's all, like, the same area. Because if it was, like, a box damage, all the packs would be like that. It's not even all the same insert. Uh, I blame Tops for weirdness. Weirdness. Mace Windu. Finn. I will say something I also like about these boxes. It has nothing to do with the product itself. But you guys know how, like, top series one smells? It's, like, not as strong as hoops. Like, Panini hoops has a, a smell to it. It's not... It, top series one's, like, a very mellowed-out version of that. 
something about the way this cardboard smells like mmm opening packs it's good it's good stuff I like the way it smells I don't know how to describe it it's just the the cardboard smell hoops has the best smell though I love opening up hoops only for that reason because it smells good Yavin four So that box, we had the purple, the green, we had another Poe. All right, let's go ahead and get on into box two here for Thomas. The fresh cardboard crack smell. Wide vision. I wonder what causes the smell. Is it like the ink on the like type of paper? I don't know. To me, I just love it. I just, I love the smell. Like I said, I love the smell of hoops. Hoops is the strongest smell that I've seen. I've, I've smelled. I was saying hoops is the strongest smell that I've seen, but you guys know what I'm saying. Wide vision. Jabba's Palace. Ooh. This is DW2. Oh, that's a, what the heck is that big ass spider, bro? Now, is this, 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 there's no way this is from, this has to be from Return of the Jedi, right? There's no way that this is a screenshot from, like, Book of Boba Fett, right? Because it talks about Bib Fortuna taking over. Is it, this, this spider looks really bad. That better not be modern technology on that spider. That spider looks like garbage. But I've also never seen that before. And I don't know if it's just something I never paid attention to as a kid or it's from the book of Boba Fett and I just haven't seen it. That spider looks horrible. Please tell me that's like, it's from the book of Boba Fett? What is that? This looks like something out of a 2002 video game. That's horrible. Bro, that spider's so bad. Look at it, look at it. This is some high school student made this in um Blender. <laughs> Darth Sidious? That's wild. Mando, Silver Foil, Ray versus Kylo. That was a cool scene on Starkiller Base. Don't be hating them polygons. I'm a full time hater, Georgie. What are you talking about? All I do is hate. Why oh, I'm so miserable all the time. Chewy comic cover. Tatooine. There totally should have been Thrawn comic covers in this set. Those, There's some really good covers. I always wanted, it was the 1 in 25 variant of Thrawn Volume 3, where it's got Thrawn and Governor Price. It looks so good. I never picked one up, and I'm sure it's like extra. It was expensive back in the day when that just came out. I'm assuming all Thrawn stuff's extremely expensive at the moment. It's a small indie studio. I know, right? Never heard of Lucasfilm. Small, small indie, ooh, orange, orange, you glad you saw that spider? Ooh, Luke, 227 out of 299. J 
Jedi Hunter says she loves the smell of cardboard. I do. I do. Grand Inquisitor. So the question is if I truly love the smell of cardboard or my allergies are just so bad 365 days of year that uh, that I'm just super stoked whenever I can smell something. I think, though, I really, I do like the smell of hoops. And I'm happy I can smell that smell here. <laughs> Yavin. Mace Windu versus Palpatine. Luke looks so bad there. Quinlan Vaughts. What if they never did anything with that plot line in Kenobi? Where they're like, oh, Obi Wan was like, oh, Quinlan was here, and then nothing happened with that. I was like, are we going to see Quinlan? No. She's like, it's just the reference. Jakku, Dr. Afra. There's, oh, also, by the way, since I probably won't remember to get one, uh, I want y'all to uh, be aware. I started the email. On Tuesday, August 22nd at 5 p.m. Eastern, early access at 4.55 p.m. Eastern for group members and app subscribers. So if you have the Trinity Comics app or if you're on the Trinity Comics Facebook page, there is a limited Virgin EM Just Ahsoka cover of Dr. Afra number 36, black and white. Number limited to 777 copies. It's very pretty. Y'all should get one. Or maybe it's not. Um, maybe it's not black and white. I think the email is just black and white. But this goes on sale on Tuesday at 4.55. I want one. I won't remember to get one. But. It's a slight chance I might get one. But in case y'all are interested, there you go. Y'all should get one. It'll grieve it. It's in a book. Which book, though? Princess Leia? I was reading a good bit of the books. And then... I just, I can't, I can't force myself to read books and, like, I don't really care. Like, I... Yeah, like, I don't want to read, like, the Luke books. I don't want to... I, I, no, I just... I don't really care about that the smuggler one with the Princess Leia and Han Solo love story. Like, I don't really care, so I didn't read it. There's a lot of the newer books I haven't read just because I don't care. But, like, I'll read the Thrawn books, and I'll read, like, Ahsoka books and Padme books. And, you know. And I'll collect my limited edition versions that are now extremely expensive of assorted uh, Magic the Gathering artists that do art for Star Wars content. That's why I want that comic cover. Well, because it doesn't go for... It's not on sale yet. That's just the page. But, like, I have right there. Y'all can't see it. But that's the um, second Thrawn trilogy limited edition. The 150 with the Magali Valneuve art on it. I have those, all three of them in hardcover. They're still sealed. Last time I checked, they're egregiously expensive. 
I just got a, the first one because I thought it was cool. Ooh, Ahsoka white border. It looks so good. I like the white border. <laughs> Am I going to get the goose graded? Then I can judge it. That's, you know, I should, I don't, it'd probably be cheaper for me to buy one that got, that's pre-graded rather than me to get it graded, but I like that. I like that, Georgie. <laughs> that I could judge Kaivar, or Kaikar. Life is meaningless until put to use. Shut up, bird. You're a bird. What are you gonna do, poop on me? Leave me alone. If I, if I don't shut up, I'm not going to be able to eat Taco Bell. I'm just going to be honest with you. Move along. Oh, Phil, remember to buy that Ahsoka comic. I was almost able to get the Peach Momoko San Diego Comic Con one, but I remembered like 30 seconds late, and then I had it in my cart, and by the time it refreshed me to check out, it sold out. Go lay an egg or something, you stupid bird. Lethal. Vix Kaleen. Green, 93 of 499. Mall cover. All right, we can tell that I'm tired because I've started, my brain started making, oh, this would be funny, say this, but it's not funny. Like, even I'm like, it's not. That makes no sense. That joke makes no sense. You guys want to hear it anyways? It's like not even a fully formed thought. I've stopped devoting brain power to it, but you guys might want to hear it anyways. And then you guys can tell me, Allie, you're crazy. Go home. Epic Clashes, Naboo. Say it. All right, so I was looking at that mall cover, and I was like, how can I make a joke involving... I've never seen the movie, but I remember seeing a lot of commercials for it growing up, the stupid uh, Paul Blart mall, mall cop. But in my brain, I said mall, like mall cop. And I was like, what can I use this for? And I was like, oh, did you hear about the special, specific person sent to track down mall after episode one? His name's Paul Blart. And I was like, this is not even, this is not even funny. This doesn't even make sense. Brain rot. My brain my brain is rotted. But anyway, back to my question earlier. I love this BBA card. Do y'all do y'all want me to have a Dengeki Bunko in like two weeks? Brian says I chuckled. Thank you. I appreciate it. Shannon says, Kevin James is not funny, so it works. It's like a super weirdly meta joke. And then Scarif to wrap things off. Eric says, I've heard worse on SNL. So you're funnier than them. I mean, is that a compliment or a baseline? <laughs> Funnier than SNL. Jedi Hunter Deep says I'm still thinking it over. Can you can y'all come up with something funny out of that? 
Little recoil. So it's pulled an out of 25 BB-8 from Star Wars Signature Series. Nice. I love I love BB-8. I know BB-8 stuff's not particularly valuable, but it's still... Like, when I open up Signature Series, they pull someone a BB-8, like a Brian Herring or a Dave Chapman. They're like, oh, well, it's BB-8, you know. I don't think anyone's ever mad at a BB-8. I can imagine if you bought, like, a crazy expensive repack product and pulled, like, a BB-8. Then you'd be upset, but... I like BB-8. What does Kermit sound like when he burps? What kind of weird bait is this? Are you trying to get me to burp in Kermit voice? I'm honestly not even sure if I could do that. That would be something I'd practice off camera. Before you just get me to burp. And then it just sounds like an alley burp and not a Kermit burp. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. All right, let's go ahead and get into our recap here. Unfortunately, we still have not seen another auto. No guaranteed hit in this product, although there's a lot of different parallels and inserts to collect. We did have two of the variations. So if they're the photo variations, the pack odds look like it says like every other box, but I feel like we have found them in almost every single box we've opened. So we do have Poe with BB-8. And awesome Ahsoka. Excited for the Ahsoka series to come out. So you said you all said it starts on Tuesday, right? Is it Tuesday every week? Because if it's every week Tuesday, that works better for me than every week Wednesday. I might actually be able to watch it as it comes out. Well, we had two green parallels, Lieutenant Reed and Bix Kaline, both out of $4.99. The orange Luke 227 out of $2.29. And the Major Partagas, 35 of 99, our lowest numbered parallel of the night. So Recoil says, I was happy with the BB-8. Yeah, like BB-8's cool. I like BB-8. I really like BB-8. Well, that's, that does wrap off these two boxes here for Thomas. Thomas, I also kept, of course, as I said I would. The info, I think this is everything you will need uh, for Tops. You send off any inserts as you so choose for any damage replacements. You've opened up any on your own you have so far. You'd be like, oh, this was totally all out of the same box. Got, you've got what you need. I'll print out the receipt and include that in your package as well. So unfortunately, we've seen some damage inserts with this product. Just because it's on the cheaper end doesn't mean that Top should care less about it. But but I'm curious, chat. I have seen a lot of mixed reactions to these. I think these are cool. Especially the Moff Gideon one, because it's like, yo, he's doing the thing. That's the card. Uh, but do you guys like these? I like them. I like them. Let me know, chat, if you guys like them. Thomas says, thank you. You're welcome, Thomas. I really hope you enjoyed it and love your new cards. All right, let me go ahead and unsnap. Take a few trips to move everything out of the way, because you got big box, you got big cards, you got big stack. When I come back, our final opening of the night, we got two boxes of 2020-21 Marvel Annual. So that'll be fun. All right, let me work on moving stuff. Do we ship to card forwarding addresses? Total recoil? Yes. If it's an address in the U.S. that I can put into a pirate ship and print out a label, then it's good to go. We've shipped to, like, ComC mailboxes and whatever that place in Arizona is. And then whatever the name of the place is that's in Vermont. I don't remember what they're called. But when I see them, I'm like, oh, this is one of those forwarding places. So, yes. All right, let me move stuff.
not a fan they cut me the wrong way i love it i love it That was good. I give that one a 10 out of 10. Beechin says they're cool. All right. My neck. My back. My everything. All right. Let's update that queue number to 13. Two boxes of annual for Will L. Will, are you here? We opened up that box of Spooderman last week for Will. Well, I have like two extra seconds. Let me print Thomas's order. Print order. So I don't have to do this tomorrow. And then be like, oh, I packed it up and I forgot. And I have to open the package. To do that. Boom. Boom. Easy. Boom. Georgie says, so many breaks. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. Wise says, take care. Thanks for the stream. Reminded me that life is meaningless. That wasn't me. That was Kai Car. That wasn't me. That's this judgmental ass bird, man. Lucian says, magic should add microtransactions. It's already evil. Give Watsu five bucks and your creatures get first strike death touch. For one point. Oh, that would be so horrible. Oh, goodness. Like, if they sold, like, if they sold, like, potions in the shop that, like, you could use, like, in match, like, oh, I'm gonna add this to my creature when I play it. That would be horrendous. But have a good night, Zwei. Thank you. Oh, man. But, all right. Not seeing Will in chat? Why was I in top? I've been in top chat this whole time. See, because some stuff gets flagged to spam for some reason and taken out of top chat, taken out of live chat. And sometimes it's just people asking questions and I feel bad. Be like, I wasn't ignoring you. I literally could not see your message. Looks like I didn't miss anything, though. But all right, two boxes of annual for Will. Five cards per pack, 16 packs per box. One to two hits per box, typically a splash ticular. And then additionally, perhaps an autograph, a second splash ticular, which would happen to normally be a short print, or a sketch card, single or booklet. Uh, you can also find numbered parallels in here. Very excited to see what we find for Will. Let's hop on into it. by Snap it into the corner. Johnny asks, why did Paul Blart Mall Cop and Darth Maul start a band together? Why did they do that, Johnny? Please let us know. Let's see if Johnny can make the joke that I couldn't make. Watch that just be a real question.
because Blart had the segue and Maul had the Sithphony skills to rock the stage. Okay, bye. Goodbye. Bye, Johnny. Thanks. Uh, Domino, tier two, number one spot, Spider-Man Noir. Tier one, Mirage. Nebula, number one. Tier one empath, humble beginnings, Thor. Tier one swordmaster, X of swords, number one spot. Is that an autograph? It is no annual impact. Oh. Wolverine, though, that's cool. Thought that was the creator's corner autograph. Those also have black borders. Imagine we just found like a Peach Momoko battle booklet at 114 in the morning. That would actually be nuts. If this was just sitting in the shelf for like three years, I mean, there's just a Peach Momoko sketch in here. Oh my god, there's a plate! <laughs> What the hell is this? No, actually, what what the hell is this? Um, I don't know who this is. Is Malekith black plate? That doesn't look like Christopher Eccleston. All right, well we have a black printing plate. Annual's very weird. Annual has a lot of plates because the Pack Wars plates also have this, but they look just like the regular ones, but they are different. There's like I think. Four sets of printing plates in annual. Weird. Anyways, printing plates, cool. Nice for Will. Year three, Jean Gray, humble beginnings, Thor. Prodigy, Captain Marvel, Annual Impact. Anyways, could you imagine there's just a uh, Peach Moko Battle Booklet in here? That'd be pretty wild. Wasp. You know, I still didn't make, I didn't find time this week to make the clips from last weekend. I should do that. I think people would still like looking at those. Marvel masterpieces. Maybe I can clip. What did I want to clip tonight? That one stupid pack from Georgie's box. Georgie, what was in that pack? Doubling season, Avacyn, and like Toxic Deluge? Or something crazy? The Fierce. It wasn't the Fierce Guardianship. Otherwise, that would have been like actually. Certified insane. What is this? Oh, it's a uh, magic splash to killer is our second hit of the box. Humble beginnings. Luna Snow, Captain America, Annual Impact. I will say, looking at this year's design, I do prefer the 21-22 design. With uh, the white border and the silver speckles and the canvas cards. And not the, the variants. I think it was a good change-up. I think the parallels were a good change-up. Not that this is bad, it's just, I don't know. I like the newer annual better. Older annual had better pull rates, though. As I would say, with the uh, most like older Star Wars products, older Marvel products, just even like you know, two three years ago, better pull rates. 
the decline over time. Storm tier three. Gwen Stacy, number one spot, Marvel's X. All right, that wraps off box one. We had a splash ticular and a printing plate. Johnny says, really love the blue foils at a retail. It felt like we still got a good parallel without breaking the bank on hobby boxes. I never saw any retail of this. I never came across any. My mom will find stuff. Because my mom, like, will be able to go to Target during the day. And my mom found, like, Flare Ultra Blasters and, like, MCU Alert Blasters and stuff. I haven't seen any of that. She found Spider-Man Metal. Like, I literally can't even find Obsidian Flames. Crazy. Here two. Wiccan. Thankfully, annual tends to be a cheap product. Star Rookies, Extinction Entity. Where's the girls and boys toys? How dare they not be here for this moment? How dare they? Girls and Boys Toys, number one, world's number one iBoy fan, yet always never happens to be here for iBoy cards. Missed an iBoy sketch card. iBoy variant. I'm trying to speak the, I am, I am trying to speak that Peach Momoko battle book lent into existence. Humble Beginnings, Scarlet Weech. Jane. Spider Man, Gwen Stacy. Super Carnage. We should get a Star Wars annual. That would be cool. Tier 3 Immortal Hulk, Null, Rookie. Star Wars annual. I would like a set like this for Marvel Comics, because I don't read them all, but I'd like to uh, be up on the no. Plus, then we could actually finally get freaking Dr. Afro cards. That would be cool. I'll go harass some poor, unsuspecting Tops employee next year at the National. Hey! You should make, like, Marvel annual, but for Star Wars comics. And they'll be like, I get paid minimum wage. Leave me alone. And I'll be like, oh, okay, me too. Not quite, but. Nkala. Miss Marvel, Humble Beginnings, Captain Marvel. Oh, goodness, wrong pile. Tier 1, Io. Hey! Tier 4, Captain Marvel. That's like 1 in 4 boxes, I think. It's actually like a hit. For this year's annual, yeah. 1920, you had like one per box. This was one every four boxes on this year's annual. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, we're still missing a splash ticular. Dr. 
strange hellions. Is our splash? Yeah. Alright, tier one cable and uh Mortal Hulk number 34 is our splash ticular. Alright, two splash ticulars, a tier four, and a printing plate out of two boxes here. Not bad at all for Will. There is one single box remaining. Of this, and then we are all out. One single box left. Perhaps we will open that up when I return in September. Since there's one, I set it for live only, so that way someone doesn't buy the one live box, and then they're like, oh, I'll buy the one recorded box, because there's only one single box. Uh, so I put it for live only. Although, if anyone bought it and wanted it recorded, just leave a note, so that way I know. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we found here on these splash ticulars. Yeah, anytime we find a plate, it's always great. That's why a plate and great rhyme, because it's true. The more you know. So here's our two splash ticulars, Empire Axeman number two and the Immortal Hulk number 34. Then we have Captain Marvel, variant tier four. And the Malekith Black Plate. Where it says apparently people are anti plate nowadays. People are just haters because they don't have plates, so instead of being sad about it, they just try to bully other people. They say, Haha, you collect plates? Be like, Yeah, I do. Aren't you jealous? Yeah, it's, I'm so jealous. So they're like, No, pl plates suck. I like plates. Take that as you will. They're like, Well, Allie likes plates. They must be good. Or Allie likes plates. They must be bad. Who knows? You guys can make that decision. Uh, but for me, I need to go get Taco Bell and go to bed because I'm starting to get weird. Well, it's a Nova plate, right? Like, if that was a Spider-Man plate, it's, it's Nova. Nova. That guy also is a big sketch card collector. So uh, he would have, he was the only person to not get a sketch. So he really wanted a sketch. And he's like, oh, I got a plate. Like his boxes weren't bad. It's just, he just didn't get sketches and everyone else did. And he's like the sketch guy. So. Starting to. Look, I, look. I have surpassed the normal weird threshold. I know, I'm usually weird, but this is like extra level weird. It's like supercharged weird. We can't have too much supercharged weird. Because then I just start speaking in incoherent sentences. Jedi Hunter Deep says, Plates are good, need a place for my food. Yeah, put on a plate. <laughs> Thanks, Allie. Another bunch of fun breaks. Enjoy your quesadilla. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. We kicked out. We had some interesting variety tonight. We got a lot of baseball. We had a lot of Star Wars flagship, which was fun. Uh, almost finished off our Marvel annual. We got into some lice. It was fun. And then I'll be back on my own tomorrow. Well, today. Later today. Maybe get into some more Final Fantasy, get into some Pokemon, maybe try out some Japanese Pokemon. Since you all seemed interested, I'm going to try and get some Japanese Ys uh, to do in the future. If I could get a case of Chrome Black, would y'all want to do a draft of Chrome Black on the Whatnots? Or, you know what I was actually really thinking about? And then I was like, well, I don't know if people want to do it. What if we did a team break? of a case of stature. Or a box draft of a case of stature. Or, I mean, I'd, my whatnot, and I bought it somewhere. I could just sell boxes. I'm not a store. I'm a business. I'm not a I'm not a diamond dealer. I don't have to abide by diamond dealer policy. I don't think. Mm. 
But yeah, I want to try fun stuff over there. I want to do more fun stuff. I like stature. New stature just came out. Although it's not even new stature. It's 2122 stature, but it looks good. But, but yeah. If y'all think of ideas, come hop and hop on by, drop on by, hop in. Hop in and drop on by the stream on tomorrow and let me know what you guys want me to do. See, I need to go to bed. But I appreciate y'all hanging out. 83 of y'all are still staring at me ramble mindlessly here at 1.30 in the morning. And I appreciate each and every one of you. If you guys had fun, make sure you hit the like button. And I will be here through Wednesday. I think Marvel What If comes out this week. I don't know if we're opening any. Because I'm leaving Thursday. But I will be here through Wednesday. So it's not like you guys aren't going to see me until the second. It's just for Saturday nights. Uh, the next one will be the second. Don't forget to grab your spot for that Pop Century hit draft. On September 2nd. Trying to think of what else is next week. Outside of Marvel What If. I'm honestly not entirely sure. Take a look on Southern's website. Log in. I haven't looked at Southern's what site much this week at all, actually. Let me log in. Why am I slightly out of focus? There we go. Or maybe my eyes are out of focus. No, that looks better. Uh, look at my pre-orders. I get bean burritos with no onions and cheese quesadillas. I don't eat tacos from Taco Bell. I don't like lettuce. Uh, let's see. Eight twenty-three. What we're looking for? See, I don't know how much this stuff's actually coming out, but it shows. Right, I'll see it when I believe it, because it still shows like Ginter 8-2, which obviously did not come out 8-2. Um, CHL Hockey, Tops Pristine Baseball, Luminance Football, Black Diamond 22-23, Garbage Pill Kids Chrome Series 6, uh, Stranger Things Season 4, Grand Archive, Fractured Crown. I guess. I mean, I'm not seeing the what if. Upper Deck, I think, announced that that was coming out this week, so who knows? Who knows? I don't. I certainly don't know. I'm confused. But. Yeah. So. Maybe what if's not actually coming next week? I don't know. We'll just have to see day by day what happens. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in tonight. I hope that you all had fun. I already told you all to hit the like button if you had fun. But have a great night, everyone. Have a great rest of your weekends. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay happy. Remember, you got to be happy. All right? Don't listen to Kai Car. Kai Car says, a life is meaningless until put to use. Don't listen to him. When you think of it normally, right? Put the use like, oh, Kai Car's put me to work. But put 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 your happiness to use, right? Make make something with your life that you're proud of, because then then you gain meaning from your ex your own existence. Don't let birds bully you. There's your inspirational quote of the weekend. I am leaving. Take care, everyone, and hopefully I'll catch you next time when I have more brain cells that work. Bye.